Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another session of Cauldron of Dice. It is nice to meet you. As you see, we have our cameras. Hello. Yay! Woo! Hey. Don't be a psychopath. Look at the camera right Hello. there. There we go. God. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to stare off into the abyss. <laughs> just like my soul. Uh, before we roll into tonight's episode, as always, a quick shout out to our lovely sponsor, Dice MV. Oh, I can do this now. For the Dice Goblin in you. Yes, you can. Bag of hoarding. My yeah, bag, bag of hoarding. hoarding. Yeah, it's um, supposed to be holding. Wonderful thing. It's almost full, mm. and I have another dice bag, another set on the way. You mean it's not bottomless? No. Um, it costs extra, man. <laughs> dice Envy has all your dice needs for all your favorite tabletop RPGs. For us, it's D and D. For others, it may be Pathfinder. Totally cool. Um, <laughs> no judgment. No, Pathfinder's fun, but. Use our promo code CAULDRON in all caps to get 10% off your first purchase. Also, I am going to hit this a lot tonight. My bad. Because it's. Scoot over. I, or, you know, I'm good. You no. Back no, 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 because that's I, it's set up. I'm not touching it. We've touch. spent, we spent hours setting touch, this up. Touch. I'm not touching it. <laughs> anyway, 10% off to get on your first purchase. Uh, thank you for Dice. Thank you to Dice Envy. We love you. Thank, thank you for you. pointing up with our stick, especially with this crazy intro um sorry that was truly not a sponsor just a fan just a fan uh also shout outs not spots hashtag not sponsored with these to hero forge for our lovely minis we love you we love you and D beyond app for making our lives so much easier with our Lo character sheets love us yes love us love me love me can't spill wine on D D beyond <gasps> or can Is that you to me? <laughs> oh, i feel attacked me. right now <laughs> I, would, I wish we took a picture of your character sheet on the first day and the last day. You know what? I still have it. Oh, yes. boy. Well, and, all well right. you don't need to see me on the first day because it doesn't really matter. But yeah. the last day, it's, how, how, I wonder how many wine stains are on there. A lot. So, all of them. thank you, everyone. You guys are rude. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's why you're drinking White Claws now. Yep. <laughs> so, with that, we are ready to roll into tonight's episode. Where we last left off. Also, too. Yes. We're good on OBS and... Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Because I, I get paranoid about these oh, things. Oh, no, like, I'm making sure the red light's on, and the red light is on. Oh, thank God. Yes. Um, where we last left off with Rayless Helps. Almost said the other one. Downside of running two people. Yes. Uh, Rayless Helps had just met Kavir's brother, Corvin. Had slept on Drimma's airship for the night. Woke up in the morning... Drinma talking to Oljor and what him and Corvin were doing. Corvin, uh, Oljor had said they were looking for uh, manifest zones that specifically were tied to Thelonis. Uh They did not find any, but they did find a manifest zone to Sariana, Sarinia, the Pretty Azure good. Sky, which is the manifest zone in Char. Um. As Old Jor explained the manifest zones and where him and Corvin were headed to next, the group decided to try to get to know Corvin a little bit more, seeing as how they did travel with his brother Kavir. Uh, Corvin is actually 67, but looks 30. Decided to race Drinma, Drinma to show off his speed and soundly beat her. I let him. Yes, he let him. Uh, Corvin did explain the realm of Thelonis, of how it manifests the best traits of you, or the worst traits, depending on which is more dominant. Um, looking for information for this supposed secret creation forge that Merrick has stowed away somewhere in Sharn, Corvin suggested they go to the Bounty Hunter's Guild up in the Dragon Towers, where him and Kavir worked, where you met the leader of this headquarters of the Bounty Hunters Guild, Reinhold Thor. Pat Benatar, signed to try <laughs> to to try our luck of steal, steal a coin purse while in the Bounty Hunters Guild. Guild failed miserably. I wouldn't say miserably. No, like barely. Barely. Barely, I mean, she couldn't have rolled much higher than that. Did not get away with said stealing. Well, there we go. I don't remember what I rolled. You were like a 26, but you're acting like you rolled like a natural one. 
<laughs> anyway. Sounds like me. <laughs> I mean, 13 <laughs> ones in a row that one session. Holy crap. That was last time. I know. <laughs> last time was the best time. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, Reinhold did disclose that they had potentially found a lead that in an alleyway behind the Dragon Mark house of Kenneth, there was a major image that was hiding in this alleyway and they were able to go past it and they found a door that they could not open. I mean, he used to be a lieutenant image, but then he got promoted. So. Yes, of course. Lieutenant image. Um, Reinhold with Corbin saying he's technically was supposed to retire, but now back in had agreed to give half of this bounty if they do find the Creation Forge of 50 Platinum. And we ended with you being led to this alleyway. I do have a note here that it's 3 o'clock. Yes, it is a 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now on the 8th of Nim. Secret. Secret. The last Nimsy. <laughs> That's my joke. Nimsy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, family guy. Okay, so, bring those up. Uh, as you are led to this secret alleyway, uh, there is, in fact, a door. It is, um... It is a steel door that is bolted shut, but you also see what looks like four arcane sigils on the corner, each corner of these doors. Who's all with us right now? Uh, it is your group and Reinhold, and as Reinhold looks to the door, Looks to you, Corbin. Well, this is where I depart. I have a guild to take care of. I have a deal. If you do find this so-called Creation Forge, report back to me. You will receive your payment, and I will also tell news to others. Much obliged. Stay, stay safe. One question well. before you leave. Um, you said you've already tried to use Dispel Magic on this. We've tried about everything. We had our best lockpicker try to break the lock. It didn't work. We tried to dispel magic. We had one person, we had one of our best artificers try to chime the lock and nothing is working. Good luck, be safe. This is Merrix. He's paranoid, so there's probably traps. Right. Oh. Be safe as well. Keep your eyes on the prize. Uh, that I will. He kind of looks at you, specifically Corbin, without saying anything, just like nods. Like a. Like Luke Skywalker kind of nod? Yeah, like a. Ding. Da, ding. Da. I will nod back. Okay. <laughs> and then Drenma will nod. <laughs> uh, I'll nod Drenma. <laughs> And then Reinhold will not at you. <laughs> God. Um, okay. It's a, a triangle. Yes. Okay. So Reinhold proceeds to walk back to the Bounty Hunter's Guild. This this alleyway, is it like very covered? Is it very secluded? Is it very so as you pass the image of what looked like a dead end, it is dimly lit. Not lit where you if you don't have dark vision, you can't see, but it is, think, dusk. Okay. So it ain't lit as fuck. It ain't lit as fuck. Okay. Now let's see if we can maybe get a little bit of a better sight on this. And Corbin is going to cast the Bruce Flame in his hand. Okay. And he's going to pull that up in the different areas um, um, of the wall so you can try to be able to see if there's anything else that might have been missed here from before. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. Can I make an investigation check too? I'm gonna use guidance on the board. Sure. Alec, come over here and help me out. Alright. Look, look with your dragon eyes. Nat 20! It bounced out, Damn. but it's a nat 20. <laughs> and I have a plus Bravo. 5. Bravo! <laughs> have guidance. I have guidance, I rolled a 15, and... 
I rolled a four for that, so nineteen. Oh, actually, no, I was about to say, what did I do was just natural, so yeah. including my investigation, he said? I was about to say, that should be like a high twenty-four. Soft. There we go. Pretty soft. So twenty-four to twenty-five. Bravo! Yeah! Bam! Hot! Uh, First roll tonight. <laughs> Alright, 24 and 25. Um, you do notice that while this, you do see the four arcane sig- sigils on the corners of these doors, you see the doorknob and the lock, but you do see that a part of it is an image. This is a door, but there's magic magic on it that is what you would know as major image that there are two deadbolts on the left side of this door that look like this is how it's supposed to be open. The doorknob and the lock is what is trapped. That if you're trying to open this door this way, it is trapped and it is... Something bad could happen. Bad. Yeah. Do we know what these sigils look like, by the way? Do you have like a drawing of them or anything? Yes. Uh... As you quickly try to sketch them out. Well, uh... Yeah, no, I don't have it. So, here, let me do it real quick. So, while you're sketching that out, I'm gonna look back over here to the rest of the crew. Al, good looking for this. Yep. Well, everyone, as I'm sure you all would have guessed, this is most definitely trapped. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe. Such a trusting man is nervous. I never would have thought that. Maybe two million years, but not one. Wait, thank you. You just seem like such a nice, trusting person. But if you look here as well, and he was going to point over to the different areas. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. I love that you could have also maybe have shaped that into a door and put that on there. (laughs) Do better. Do better, DM. Come on, Matt. Love you guys. (laughs) <laughs> but there are also illusions hmm. on the store as well, and Corbin's going to be able to point out to the different areas where that are, that are at, at that are the actual illusions. Um, Once it becomes a hand, especially for times like these. But so what is what are the specifics of, that we so notice about the deadbolts that we notice on the left hand side? So the two deadbolts. It looks like one can go up. So if the deadbolts are like this, mm-hmm. one will go up and one goes down. Okay. Is there anything that's keep it lo- like locking them in place? Do we need to do anything specific about them? Nothing's locking them in place. So you guys it's see. You, have you to see open the deadbolts to deactivate the trap potentially. Potentially, with with what you guys rolled, it's okay. So it's either. We have to use the deadbolts first to deactivate it. Okay. Which which one first, you don't know. But you know, this is how you would disable the trap. Do we want to see if there's anything else magically imbued? I, it sounds like that it's trapped, but apart I from mean, major I, image, is there any way we I could find out? I have detect magic. I can, I can it's, try to cast that and see if there's any other school with magic on this. Would I have recognized the sigils? As an artificer, or no? Um, artificers, n- no, because y- your magic comes through focuses. Okay. So your magic is, think wizard. You study it, and then your magic comes through your tinker tools and mm-hmm. your gun. <laughs> yeah. Would boom, I? Boom boom stick. Boom boom stick. Would I have been familiar with any of these rooms here myself, based on previous travels? Or uh, make an arcana check. But to answer your question, Bashara, I mean, can't be too safe when it comes to Marix. I still have my hand on your shoulder using guidance, so. Attach your butt. Slap your butt. That was already rolled, you're holding it. I'll allow it. Okay. I mean, it lasts for a minute, so. What? But once they roll, then it stops. It's your yeah. first yeah. ability mm-hmm. check. So if you're. Again, it's a cantrip, so you're not okay. burning a spell, yeah. so. It's right. one one. Yeah, just make sure you announce before it rolls. It's fine. Um, that is a 17 total. Okay. 17. Nice. Um, you would okay. know... It's good. This is necromancy. This is a necrom- a necromantic symbol. The 
three the three lines and the the three horizontal lines in the one verse. Yes, the one verse. This is technically elemental. The swirling one. The swirlings. The two the two half assed S's. You know, I didn't realize I was getting elementals in high school. Ah, uh, uh, thank you. Those thank are you. the two you you in. With being in the Bounty Hunter Are you Guild here all night? Um, and the Occult. Actually, no. I got to. I actually got to leave here very shortly. <laughs> Those are the two symbols that you would understand. Okay. And I would put those out, and I would be able to um, make everyone else aware of what those would be. Okay. Would you like me to try detect magic and yeah, let's any other schools of magic on here. So I can't hurt. First level detect magic. Okay. See if there's any type of other magic on there. What school of magic? Potentially. That would also include the runes if there was anything magical about the runes. Yep. Uh, necro necromancy. That's the other. That's the only school. That's of magic the that's only on there. school of magic that is on there. Okay. So the runes represent the different things, but the only school of magic. On the is word itself ne- is necromancy. It's necromancy. Okay. okay. Oh, fun. And I uh, will relay that to everybody. Um, yeah, with all of this uh, intricate and uh, more precise stuff, has anyone ever just tried kicking down the door? I feel like that would go very, very badly during my- it, it seems to me if there's a trap on the door and... It's hidden with necromancy type magic. Do you really feel like fighting the undead right now? But I'm a little more like resistant that's... when it comes to necromancy. I might be able to. Seems like that's. There's your door. I need to know who's standing where. I honestly wouldn't really mind trying to be able to. Well, I think. Wipe these blights off the face of this planet. Well, considering I just cast detect magic on it, I'm kind of like right. Yeah, I would yeah, say. Al, I think Al could. Yeah, Al's so Al's you three would probably. Pro- yeah, because yeah, you be two did the investigation. Do you guys think that something's gonna sure. pop out? Probably. Maybe. Hmm? Can I climb up the building? That's a great. That's a great question. Can I climb up the building? I believe you have like, like a grappling hook in your uh, um, yeah. your I think I can just use my own built-in claws. I am my own grappling hook. I actually f- I've, I've put to- I built I built Al last week. And I, my dumb self only j- just actually placed the order today. It's gonna be like a month till you get it. But okay, Probably. so that's kind of where you guys are. Yeah, because Corbin and Al were. Yeah. Examining so. it. I just used to tech magic on it, so we're essentially in the front. Are you you're climbing up? Can top? I can I climb the wall above the door? Or maybe is there anything above that yeah, you can is there see? Else around this area here. Oh it's, yeah, perception check. The <laughs> passive perception you really don't. It's the two walls of the houses that are make this alleyway and then it's the wall and the door. So this this is where the the alleyway ends. Well, well I was wondering ends. to climb above the Not wall the above sidewalk ends. the door. So if something pops out. Oh yeah, you uh, I can jump on it. Yes. Assassinate. Uh, yeah. Is your mic pointing towards you? I'm sorry. Sorry. Now it is. Uh, I just want to make sure the audio technic is pointing towards yours. Your uh, beautiful, make, make beautiful, a, lush voice. Make an athletics check. Mm-hmm. Yes, the Well, I'm better at acrobatics. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. And being a tabaxi, it's yeah. not that hard for you, so you kind of put you right. You wanna use my water bottle? Here. No, we're good. We'll put you <laughs> right here. Word. Where's the dice tower? Or where's the elevated tower? You didn't bring it those? wasn't with my stuff. Oops. It wasn't in the box, so. Put a stick in the box. <laughs> the box wasn't in the box. Yeah, the box wasn't in the <laughs> box. I think it's in your No, uh, it, it's in those shelves. It was on the left-hand side with all the maps. Okay. Um. Meow. 
<laughs> right. Okay, so we have a door that has necromancy magic on it. We have four rooms and a. Don't you have something that? Don't you have something that does something with necromancy? From the, from the train, the lightning rail. It was a scarab? No, that is something. Was that something, was that something resistant to necromancy? That, or yeah, that gives me uh, advantage on saving throws against spells. And is there a sp it, if I fail a saving throw against a necromancy spell or harmful effect originating from an undead mm -hmm. creature, I can use the reaction to expend a charge and turn the failed save into a successful one. It only has 12 charges, though. Hmm. Well, I'm down for kicking down this door. I don't know about the rest of you. Or, would or rather not. I'd rather not as I well. If like anything, to try to turn these deadbolts. yeah, that's what I was about to say. If anything, I would like to at least try the deadbolts. But something's telling me that there's something extra about the door. I mean, we can try to turn the deadbolts and then have someone check for traps. I don't know. Well, with their investigation. I was gonna say with their they know it's trapped. Right. Yeah. But I mean, like, well, what, did it disarm the traps? Is what I'm saying. Okay. Because we know it is trapped, but does turning the deadbolts disengage the trap? Yes. Would we be able to see? Um, um, actually, I believe one of our individuals would probably have a set of thieves tools. We'd probably <gasps> I... be able to try and be able to possibly disarm the trap. Is it me? Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Yay! So are you getting down from the wall? I guess so. She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it from the wall. Cat, you might want to jump down from here. There are a couple of traps right here that perhaps we need your expertise on. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, who's backing up to let her near the door? I'm certainly backing the fuck up. Okay. Wow. Let me die. Would you I rather have reward? I figure I can. I've always stay wanted there. to die. Part of the ship. Oh, part of the crew. Drima's gonna back up about maybe I don't know twenty feet away. He pulls the eight on me. Twenty feet. Yeah, that sounds uh. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Anyone Al's, else? Al's gonna go follow Drinma. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it real slow, like. Are you guys trying to sacrifice me for a reason? Well, no. Sacrifice. When starts backing up, though, that's usually a bad thing. Sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> sacrifice implies that I know what's going to happen. This is more of I don't know what's going to happen. Is anyone else backing up? Yeah, me. Uh, you got, okay, well, I'm going to look back and be like, you guys can't leave me up here by myself. Is Mal backing up? I think Mal will stay. Mal will stay. Wow, the one person who's not here to defend <laughs> themselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you say it in Mal's voice? I'm gonna stick Well, up. hail. Well, hail. Well, I just can't leave you alone now, can I? <laughs> now it's wow, wow, every single day Southern or every Bell single now. week, it's, it's different. A new accent. I want to know accent. what makes this me cockney. <laughs> I just can't let little old you stay here. Okay. Also, Vishar, if you wouldn't mind slapping a nice, healthy goodness on, t on Cat, that'd be mighty fine. Bless? N no. Little guidance. That requires me touching her, and I'm back there. But it gives you a minute, so slap and then back out. I think that Is we that should have. I saying? think that it away. lasts a minute mm -hmm. until they make a check. Okay. Okay, y'all fucking suck. <laughs> I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna touch Cat's shoulder. I'm going to cast guidance. All, All right, Mal. Down. So when she <laughs> when she unlocks the life. door, hear the. the so Al's gonna. This. <laughs> That's your words of encouragement. So Al's gonna be like, okay, when she unlocks this door, there are these two deadbolts here that you have to move. One goes up, one goes down. If it makes you feel better, cat, you're mighty dodgy. So maybe something bad happens, you'll be wow. quick as a cat. No offense, Mal, but I'm getting the f out of the way. I mean, you could probably do another athletics check and just jump straight up. Can we do acrobatics? profession in that. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's just, a saving throw. You don't get to decide oh, if it's a saving throw. Meh. Okay. So just don't mess guidance. up and we'll be fine. Slide of hand check with and your proficiency bonus add, and a d4. A d4. Yeah. Okay. So before, Slide before of hand. You, what are you trying to do? 
uh, I guess, use my little thieves tools and... To disarm the trap. Yes. Yes. So the actual thieves tools check. It's just her dex plus her button. Yeah. Efficiency. Yeah. So we so she can recognize that there is a trap. Yeah. She's now using these to disarm. find the trap and then disarm. Okay. So exactly like that. Yep. Yeah. Dex plus your proficiency bonus and plus D4. D4. So you got all kinds of dice coming your way. Plus guidance. Yes. Yep. Well, that's D4. the D4. Okay. okay. Motherfucker. This website sucks. You, you I mean, D and D beyond. Just roll it. Okay. It said. Oh. You can still do the math. You don't have to use the app. Okay, so it's sleight of hand, right? So right. it's plus six. We, we, we would use a sleight of hand then? No, it's, it's oh. dex. Oh. Because you're so, trying to disarm, so it's... You said sleight of hand. So, so, your, so your, uh, your modifier is going to be uh, plus three, I believe. Yeah, and then plus your proficiency bonus. So I guess it would still be sleight of hand, uh, right? She's, yeah, she's yeah, proficient. Yeah, proficiency bonus plus three, plus three, so add six. That is a six. Plus six is twelve. And then D four. And then add D four. So plus three. So. Fifteen. Fifteen. That's not very good. It's actually not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not good for me. Let's put it that way. As a rogue, it wasn't a twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a twenty-eight or thirty-seven. So as you try to disable this trap, looking around the deadbolts, avoiding the keyhole and the doorknob, as you start to try and move the deadbolts, you do see the bottom left arcane rune start to glow. It is not disarmed, but it is not set. It is not it's not been activated, yes. So it was glowing and now it's not glowing? Yes. Can I steal it? it? It's on the door. I try to use Again, it and pry it. I steal it's it. It's etched <laughs> on oh, the door. Damn. I thought it was a stone or something. No. It was carving. Okay, so is that a good thing? Uh. Uh-huh. All right. Which, which symbol well, is that? So, Drinma, it's your turn. You want to kick down this door now? The bottom of the <laughs> All right, well, I'm moving all the way back. <laughs> so it was the X. So the one we don't know Circle what X. It is. Circle X has been disabled because it's top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left. So one of the four has been disabled. Yes. Well, we can, we can maybe ascertain that that's the case. Okay. So maybe... Hey, Kat, can you um, check and see if there's any other traps mm. that they're... Can mm. I do it again? The door? Try, try to disarm or look for other traps? I guess I can look for other traps. Yeah, like I, let's, let's do that. Okay, make an investigation check. Too bad none of us prepared the spell check for traps. <laughs> Only that well, was a spell. Yeah. Well, we hey. Yeah, I know. We, we don't need a spell for that. We have a rogue. Mm-hmm. What is that? I, 15. It's a 15. 15. Plus. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You didn't. Yeah. Hmm. There are no other traps. Ooh. Uh, hey, guys, there's no other traps. So. So, Matt, Again. do you want to try to open the deadbolt? Well, I better be pulling my weight now. She's gonna grab a bed deadbolt and she's gonna try to. Uh, top or bottom? Let's go. Mal's always been a top, so top. Top. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, make us. Drinks. Yeah, strength check. Okay. okay. Strength check. Natural 20. Nice. 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 Bravo. 24. 24. Thank you. So you take the. Top deadbolt and pull it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, top right deactivates. These two are still lit. But we didn't die, so that must be a positive. Oh, darn. 
I think that's your catchphrase, right? I've always wanted to I've die. I've always wanted to die. <laughs> Mal's going to grab the other one, and then she's going to like turn to the group behind, right? Then she's like, I've always wanted to die. <laughs> and then she's going to pull that as well. Okay, strength check again. Strength check again. <laughs> I have like six more lives. Six. Oh, well, there we go. Okay. It's the universe balancing itself out. Um, so as Mal grabs the bomb one and tries to pull it down, mm -hmm. it kind of, she loses her grip and stops midway pulling it down. Uh, do, 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 do. This one reactivates. Oh, fuck. So now these three are on. This one is still off. Okay. Um, so, like, do what and you just did, bolt, but reverse. And the bottom deadbolt resets. Okay. So you still have this one up. So. Okay. Or do you want... Were you, is she actually picking a lock as cat? She was not picking a lock. It was she was nearing the, the edge of where the deadbolts are. Okay. And working around that area. Sorry, I should have been more specific. That's my bad. That's okay. I got to paint a picture for you guys. She was working around. You're not Bob Ross. How, I'll let it yeah, slide. how the gear how, around the gears of the deadbolts. Okay. Okay. So we pretty much just need to get this other deadbolt down, and then have Cat re redo the gears, or have Cat redo the gears first. Yeah, one or the other. How about? Do you want to do that? Well, Cat, would you want to do that? Sure. <laughs> you reset the gears, and then I'll I'll pull at the same time. What accent is that? I don't know. I just, like, like I said, it is, like I said, it's fluid like southern molasses. Hey, turn them up. Go up and maybe help Cat, like, or not Cat, Mal, like, when Mal goes up, you go down. Sure. Let's sacrifice another one of our team. I'll be happy to. Hold on, hold on. There you go. I'd be happy to. Okay. So Jerma. So walking up. Right. Trim has got more they, robust. They go I'd be happy time. to. Like, yes, they go. What? One. So one of you is pulling up. Okay. One of you is pulling down. Strength. Strength checks. Okay. So that's gonna be sixteen for Mal, and then that's gonna be fifteen for Drinma. Okay. So as you pull the top one down to reset it, mm -hmm. all four light up. As you at the same time. Like one, two, three, three together. Go. Yep. Lift it. Both lock into place. Uh, the four runes mm -hmm. dim. And you do hear a click. <gasps> the door is not open. Mal will say, Was that a good click or a bad click? Cat, you want to check? Investigation. One, one last investigation to see if there's anything that kind of. Yep. Well, that's a straight 10. Straight 10. Okay. Yeah. You can use the door. The trap is gone. But now it's just using the actual doorknob to open the door. Can I investigate the doorknob? Yeah. Sure, there's nothing on there. Yeah. Can I go to help and help her? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I don't have any uh, extra. <laughs> it seems like all the heavy work is done. Thank you, Kat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can have a little bit of a closer look. I can't even read that. Six. That is a six for you. And that is a 17 for me. Ooh, nice. There we go. 17. It is no longer trapped. It is just locked. It's a... Not a base, it is an intermediate lock, so for you with your lock picking tools, you could probably pick this. Lock. Let's pick it. Okay, Look, looks like it's. I already decided this. I'm okay. gonna pick it. Oh, I'm gonna pick this. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Dex proficiency. Good luck. And Mal and Drimma are gonna back up another 10 okay. feet. Okay. Or, Again, slowly yeah, shift well. into the shadows. Okay. Okay, so Dex is at the top, right? Corbin's also going to try and be able to take a look back behind us and try to be able to see if, if anything is... Well, that's not fucking good. Oh, God. Did you just roll a fuck? Yes. I hate she these did. dice. They fucking suck. Yeah. Fuck you, Etsy. I was going to say, so, I'm not okay. brought by Dice Envy. 
So as you take your lock picking tools, um, well, do I add my other? No, it's a fuck. It's an automatic fail. Not necessarily, but it's not. not no, fair. just like natural twenties. I, I, depending on, I still want the the Are total number. Right? So <laughs> it's a six. It's a mm. six. You don't break your lock picking tools, but as you're messing around with it, you kind of catch what the second tumbler and miss and reset the lock. Can try again. Nothing happened. Okay. The runes are still off. The dead bolts are still in the up position. I want to just use this. I feel like these dice suck. I need to sage these. Or okay. sage them. Anna has I literally a bot. You, bo- you also have yeah. another set of dice too. Okay. Oh, wait. Give me those uh, sand looking ones. Anna, do you want a chunky? No. Chonky Dice, brought to you by Dice Envy. I got two Chonky. I've got Chonky. Now these dice are I got, sponsored. I got Chonky. Do you want a Rainbow Chonky? This rainbow one, chunky? these need to get saged. It's because I always just keep them. Do you do, you do an incantation with I them also, as well? I also have a spark. I'm going to try my my sand ones, and if those ones don't work. I like your sand ones. They're yeah. nice. Yeah, they're chunky. nice. We come in a pill case. I was gonna say that is that's, that is quite a unique use for a pill case. Time for my mo- time for my Monday. Dress. Okay, so Dex and proficiency. There we go. Nat twenty. It's a ten. Ten. Okay. Well, that's All right. Better. Yeah. So sixteen. Sixteen. That's good. So as as you watch everyone kind of like looking at you, you reset your um, lock picking tools. Get the first, second, third tumbler, and then you hear. And the door begins to open. Well, I guess there wasn't Good much. Job, use, I guess there wasn't much use for a doorknob. It never is with me around. <laughs> oh. Why, cat? You are just such. You are, you are like a brat. Uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. Go on. <laughs> How long has it been since we've been doing this, by the way? About ten minutes. Okay, so detect magic is gone. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. That's so, yes. I picked the lock. I'm not going in first. Drimma will just go. We don't know what's in there. But you're so fearless, Queen. Let me, let me give it a shot. And Corbin will switch the produce flame. I, actually, no, I don't need to be able to relight the produce flame. Because um, it's been over 10 minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, in, in his left hand, and with his right hand, he'll draw his, uh, his longsword. And he will whisper the words into it, Palavata. And it will ignite into flames as he uses that as his light source and begin to walk in and looking around, specifically to try to be able to find anything else that might be dangerous to the rest of the group. Jim is going to pull out her greatsword and be like, show off. Uh, Beric Dondarian over um, here. Okay. Uh, how far are you going? Derek Dondarian. Um, I walk in about ten feet. Hold on, hold on. And then Corbin, Al's- before you go in, uh, Corbin, Cat, and Al, come here real quick. Okay. And I'm going to use a second level spell. I'm going to cast aid. So you guys get an extra five hit points to your maximum. Nice. nice. For the next eight hours. So temporary hit points. So you just, no, no. To your max. Max. So oh, you now shit. have 60 so hit just, points. So just put in five to... Your max HP modifier. How do you have 60? So I've got 42. Wait, so wait. wait. Also where do I... Where's the max HP? Wait, how do I do this? Oh, okay. Where's my pencil uh-huh. eraser? Yay. Where's my wine at? Oop. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> How okay. do I add? Woo-hoo. Just right here. Thank you. Uh, so can uh, Mr. DM, can yeah. you oh. also put Drinma behind uh, Corbin? And that is for the next eight hours. <gasps> Mal behind Damn, Drinma. That's a good spell. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Al can take up the rear with his blunderbuss with the long range. I do not want a blunderbuss in the rear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so well, too bad. You just what got what AIDS. Marking order. We have Corbin in the front, Drinma behind Corbin, <laughs> Mal behind Drinma. <laughs> I'll be I'll, the sneaky snake in the back. I'll go behind now. Ish. Okay. So, with Al in the back and then Cat. Okay, and you're walking 10 feet in. So, 5, 10, uh, perception check, please. 
Would my passive my perception vibrator. be able to try and be able to... Actually, my passive my problem, my passive I said my vibrate yourself. To trump most things. It's 24, right? Correct. Yeah. You're good. 24? My passive perception. Passive God perception. fucking damn it, dude. What? So... Sorry, Kat, you're no uh, longer of any use to the party. Get out of here. <laughs> Scram. So, uh, I've always wanted to die. The, uh, uh, the variant ranger, which we're still waiting for to be able to come out officially. Thank you, Unearthed Arcana. Um, it allows me to take proficiency and expertise in it, and then the observant feat on top of that, which gives plus five to your passive perception. That's so yeah. stupid. Um, and with a high enough wisdom, yeah, I'm sitting here. At t- I'm sitting pretty at 24. Yeah. Wow. Uh, in this, it is a circular room with four torches here, 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 and here. So lit, so you can see in the very center is a technically you would know this, this is a teleportation circle. Interesting. And and is there anything else in the room? There's nothing in the room. It's the four torches and teleportation. Doors? Roughly how big would we say that the room is? Uh, do, 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 do. What are we saying to that is, Bob? Sixty by sixty. Okay, so sixty by sixty that we're in. Yeah, sixty by sixty. All right, so so I'm gonna relay this back here to everyone else. Um, say it's a sixty by sixty foot circular room, four torches and and what would be the corners? If circles had corners. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> Are there any other doors in there, Corbin? Nope. No doors. Just no the doors, one he walked through. No doors except for this one. But it looks like that there's a teleportation circle here in the center. <laughs> Would I be able to tell from there that uh, um, if the teleportation circle is active? Or if it's dormant at this time? It is dormant at this time. It's, it, it, it's not, it looks like it has been operated for here for a while. Which okay. means... It's entirely possible that if we go in, we don't come out. Not necessarily. You That's to, probably how he gets to his... You have to be able to step on top of the teleportation circle. And, well, perhaps other things. Not every teleportation circle is the same. But, as a general rule of thumb, at least have to be standing inside of it before we can be able to transport you anywhere else. Um, Jirinma is going to... Are we slowly walking in, by the way? Yeah, I think yeah, we can, right. we can slowly I'm in. definitely... Okay, so Jrimba's going to look back at Mal and say, Mal, put your hand on the wall on that's on the right side. I'm going to put my hand on the wall on the left side and just try to feel and maybe like slowly work on the outer edges, kind of feeling the wall. Is it smooth? Is it rough? Is it granite? Or is it it's like smooth. earthy? Uh, it is smooth, granite. Mm-hmm. All, all the way around. There's no rough edges. It's. Can Drinma go in one direction, like kind of feel in the wall, and then can Mao go in the other direction with hand on the wall and kind of work their way around? Work. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Roughly, how tall is this room as well? Uh, it is not that tall. It is only about twenty feet high. Okay. Only twenty. Feet. Only. <laughs> only. only. Well, for a giant, hey, for, that's tiny. For the dragon towers that are about eighty to ninety feet. Hall. This is uh in this alleyway. It's like okay, there's two dragon towers next to us that are going 90 feet high, and then here's this secret alleyway that's. Can you imagine how much this costs? The real estate. I mean, this is a booming market. This must cost a fortune to have right here. When everybody else walks in, I'm gonna turn around and just close the doors as much as I can, so it looks like the door is closed. Without fully Without closing. Fully can, closing. uh... Because I don't want people falling. Drinma and Mal maybe investigate the walls as they're kind of, like, touching it and slowly working their way around uh, this chamber. Yeah, make investigation checks. Okay, okay. Corbin's also gonna, uh, while you're doing that, is gonna look back at, at, at Drinma, or Drinma, uh, Bashar, um, and say, hmm, okay. uh, you might want to prop that door open. I don't want us all to get sealed inside. I closed it to the point where I mean, keep something inside there okay. so it doesn't close fully. Uh, 13 for Drenma, 11 for Mal. Um, as you get to about the halfway point, mm-hmm. it is still smooth, but as you... Are you just kind of doing this? Kind of like up and down. So as you get to that halfway point... Seeing if anything abnormality or feel, like your hand goes through a wall, you know, kind of like one of those numbers. 
So uh, as you guys get to that halfway point and both are feeling around, you do see half of the teleportation circle start to light up. <gasps> and the image of the bowl, that is the sigil of House Caneth, appears about right here on the wall. Mal and Drima will stop immediately and then just kind of like have their hand on the wall and like look at each other. Okay. Also, quick question. Is there a reverberation, like, when they talk, is it echoey? It is not echoey. It's quiet. It's quiet. So it's like the soundproof room at Kosai. Yes. It's a weird room. It is very strange. It is. It is. But fun. Um, Bashar is going to, like, take one of the torches out of her bag. Okay. She has ten of them. She's going to kind of break it in half and then just stick the stick part of it in the base of the door so it doesn't pull it close. Okay. Just remember, we're not in here with them. They're in here with us. <laughs> Corbin is going to look over and, he, and he, he's going to try and be able to get a little bit closer here to the teleportation circle and try to be able to examine it really to like the best of his ability with his knowledge of the occult and the arcane. Okay. Uh, make your investigation check. Hey, and Al. Mm-hmm. While Corbin's doing that, can you go to the opposite side of the room directly across from I'm me? going to use uh, my inspiration die that okay. you gave me from using the Goodberry potion. Yes. And out of game two, is, our, is it right that I guess the way that pel- teleportation circles are written, the like different sigils mean like different destinations and things? Like they're not all the same? They're not all the same. Okay. Yes. 18. Thank you, inspiration. 18. Mm. So how tel- teleportation circles work is... Thank you, sir. Um, if Depending on the person using the sigil, the teleportation circle, the mm-hmm. sigils will either be connected to another one mm-hmm. or to places they've been to before. But through those symbols, it would distinguish if it was like a one-way track to something as opposed to just yes. a general like pop tour. Yeah, pop tour. Because I'm like in the part in Critical Role where they're kind of like that and yeah. they kind of discuss and I was really confused about yeah. it. I just, I didn't know. All right. Yes. Uh, 18. So, yes. For... The teleportation. Circle. Yes, I'm trying to be able to understand it as best I could. Um, Wait, would that have been investigation or would that have been Arcana? Technically, it could have been either. Okay. Whichever one you would be considered more. Would I be able to get a different answer for either one? You would get a different answer. All right, I'm gonna go with Arcana for this one. Okay. So what is Arcana? Uh, that 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 was the same, same eighteen. Yeah, the, yeah, that's the eighteen. Okay. Would have been much higher if it did the investigation, but okay. Uh, magic here. This teleportation circle is connected to another teleportation circle somewhere in Sharn. Okay. Um, what are y'all waiting for? I want to get on there. Well, it leads somewhere here within the city. That's for sure. Not much further beyond that. Also, too, Al, were you looking at the other... I was and I was going to. It was like so. So Bashar, like, what exactly do you, do you want me to like just go? I mean, yeah, obviously, I'm gonna go around. Like, it seemed like it lit up when Al, when Trinma and Mal were directly across from each other, halfway down. Okay, so just like so stand maybe over here. If you come directly across from me on the other side of the room. All right, so I'm gonna okay, have gotcha. Al go, go. right. So yeah. kind of right so here. He, yeah. So he's gonna go around. The teleportation circle and stand right here. I think that's so, like, wise. Directly across. Okay. Does anything happen? Are you reaching out on the wall? Uh. Are you just yeah. kind of just like Drinma and Mal? Well, yeah. I'll, I'll just stand there first to see what happens. Does anything happen with me just standing there? Nothing is happening with you. Standing. Okay. All right. So now I'll. Let's. Yeah. Try I'm touching the wall. Re- er, Shara is gonna reach behind her. Touch the door. Touch the door. Yeah. Okay. It's all that's behind her. Mm-hmm. And we all say the magic words. Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga It was under five seconds. Yep. Five seconds. And it's not me. Five second rule. All right. So uh, anything happen? With you touching the door, nothing's happening. Okay. 
Are you touching the wall? I'm, yeah, I'm touching the wall. Okay, uh, so these two parts of the teleportation circle are lit up. This one lights up. Mm-hmm. Cat is gonna be ambitious. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move over Cat. here. <laughs> Cat and is going to go into the middle. Put my hand on the wall. <laughs> okay. So as she's doing that, you're walking like slowly to it, and then just kind of stand in it. Do my catwalk. <laughs> Do a little turn on the catwalk. Mm-hmm. Do a little turn on the catwalk. <laughs> on the catwalk. <laughs> My fucking oh things up. <laughs> well, once you start to go up t- t- to take your first step on the teleport uh, on the teleportation circle, Corbin is going to look over and say, or really kind of look up because he's kind of kneeling down right in front of it. Look up and say, "Cat, no." Rogue's going to rogue, baby. <laughs> Solid <laughs> last <not>. words. <laughs> we'll put it on our gravestone. I'm glad I'm wearing the shirt right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it's not good. Okay. Um, does anything happen when I come over here and put my hand on the wall? Nothing happens. So I'm just gonna take my hand off the wall and move over here. Nothing happens. Mm, he's there's rolling dice, for me. I know there's dice being rolled. <laughs> Maybe try putting your hand on the floor, over right in front of the door. That's a possibility. Mm, I like that. I'm gonna go right back here. Put my hand on the floor. <sighs> Nothing happens. What if you actually close the door? I'm sorry. Mm. What if you actually close the door? I actually had that thought just now too. <laughs> Shot. Move me towards the center. Coming over, taking the piece of torch out. Like you're you're standing right here. Oh God. Okay. I'm also like kind of like kneeling, kneeling kind of like right in front right. of it here too. Piece of torch is coming out. Door is completely closing. Okay. Cat's gone. <gasps> As I'm being lifted away, I'm gonna say, "See you in hell, bitches." Oh no, you're not lifted away. Just, you're just oh. you pop out of existence. See ya. Poof. It's kind of like a. Sound. Okay, Ooh. now you're now timed. What are you guys doing? Hey, uh, let's go. Everyone uh, jump in. <laughs> Wait, uh, Do we all have to? I, we all what does the teleportation cir- uh, circle look like? Is, is it fully lit now? It's fully lit. Uh, and Cat is gone. And Cat is gone. Right. Guys, Cat's, Cat's gone. Bashar is going. We're all jumping going. in. Run, 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 run. Bashar. Mal. They- Mal and Jim are going to look at each other, and then they're going to kind of stare at uh, Corbin as they're doing it. Like, is this a good idea? Corbin's gonna look at them like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, but then. Oh, little, no, little. Uh, yeah. Little salute right there as she. Okay. Corbin's gonna jump in here last second here as, as quick as he can. Okay. <laughs> so, everyone, I hope you got your second characters already, or in this case, third characters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good thing I almost have a third character. Well. Uh, dear, can you hand me a percentage dice? Hey, I have this amulet. I got one. Oh, yes, you do. Thank you. You'll I already got it. Hands. Alright, so what happens in that moment? Okay. Thematically. So thematically, as Cat disappears and as all you jump in, you feel this immense pressure. You like you don't exist. You are in between what feels like World. That sounds like a poop pressure right there. Yeah, poop <laughs> pressure. Like, but it's it all like. around your bite. It feels like you are being, every inch of your body is being constricted where it gets hard to breathe, almost where you want to throw up. I've always For wanted about to throw six up. Six seconds and then. <clears throat> Can I roll to see whether or not Al throws up? <laughs> sure, make a hey, constitution save and throw. <laughs> Just because he is child. Adults can throw up too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Should be all. Yeah. Constitution <laughs> saving throws. Alright. Oh shit. Meh. Natural one. Natural one oh, for. Did we all roll constitution Natural one yep. for Drinma. Okay. I got and, 17. And 20 for Matt. 21. Oh wait, hold on. 17. Uh, natural one, you throw up. Yeah. Everyone else is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Drinma. Yeah, so Drinma throws up and go. <laughs> it's, I don't like that feeling of nothingness and emptiness. Suffocation? 
Well, if there's alcohol in it, of course I can hold it, but <laughs> not, give her a drink. not not like this. Not like this. not like this. Hey, Speaking of not like this, how I do you know shake your truly. head? <laughs> not like this. All right, I need another truly too. Again, not sponsored. You want me to just, just do it? Uh, you want? Well, I I need a beer. Too, okay, so. I can just do it. Okay, I'm, yeah. That, I've got my uh, also got my um. I need a pee for you. Can see that? I got a pee for me. No one saw that piece I just put down. I didn't see what anything. Good. Good. We were shooting the shit, so it was all good. Good. All right. So. <laughs> That's so funny. How do you shake your head? Not like this. Not like this. Mm. So so. For the record, with where we stood, where is the pile of puke? <laughs> Probably uh, right in the dead center. Right dead center. Sharinma would have no decency at all. She would literally do it like right in front of her. Well, let's see, as we're kind of looking back, like, Ew. yeah. Thank which you. one? <gasps> Drin- Dr- well, Drinma's right Drinma's over with, here. No, Drinma's the wings. Oh, Drinma's yes. the wings. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of over here it. in the corner. Okay. Again, what's your favorite beer? A free one. A free one. What's your second favorite beer? A cold one. Okay. How's it feel, by the way, putting maps out and everything again? I, I fucking, I've missed it so much. I love it. All right. So as you all, Kat, you're the first one out. And for about three seconds. I have to ask, were you surprised I did that? Oh, God, no. Cats are curious. Not at all. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. Thank you, Hannah. Yes. Um... Kat, you're the first one out for three seconds, and you're like, actually, how how would you, ex- how do you feel about that experience, that six second experience you just? Oh, I don't think Kat rolled a Constitution saving. Throw. Should I roll for it? Yes. Twenty. Twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. You're not throwing up, but you land on your feet like. I feel yeah. great. Yeah, you feel good. Uh, and then after that three seconds, you watch as. <laughs> Vishara, Al, Drinma, Mal, and Corvin all kind of come out, and Drinma just. I don't think that boar sat right with me this morning. <laughs> okay. I live for this. Dangerous. Drinma, Drinma, after wiping her, like, there, she. Yes, dear? I love you. I love you too, love sweet. You do. As Drinma wipes the puke from her mouth, she just goes, ah, Cat, that was. Completely irresponsible. Like I said, oh, you didn't get to hear me say, "Rogue's so, gonna rogue." I know it's in your nature, but please, if you don't mind, think about the rest of us. You didn't have to follow, but thank you for following. You're welcome. <laughs> She's very confused by that. And are you okay? Everyone I'm okay? Go- I was a nat 20, baby. I don't know what that means. I feel great. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what that means. (laughs) I think it means cats always land on their feet. Okay. That is true. So, as you come out of this teleportation circle... Wait, as as Al said that, Al, do you... You you ever have any cats or other pets? No, but I've read books about them. She had a robot dog. But there wasn't a cat. That's close enough. Have you been a cat here, you know, any, any day in your life before you met Tabaxi? Would I have up in Oh my Ice god, there's no freaking way. No, like, you weren't from Ice Island. Or Ice Sheer Island. Ice Sheer Island? No. Ice Sheer Island was mostly made up of humans, fellow dragonborns, and a few dwarfs. And then when you went towards the mural, mural holds, probably, that was all dwarfs. They probably yeah. have house cats. A house cats are like wild animals. Uh, the the mirror holds is all dwarven mines, so there's not a lot of pets. So your defender, I noticed Why? that was, you know, since gone. Mm-hmm. Would you be able to make another one, and maybe this one in a cat, so you can have that cat experience? It would require a <laughs> lot of metal. I'm sure we'll come across quite a few in our time like, together. Think like a. What was it like a like a hundred about 150 pounds? It's 150 pounds of metal you need to create your whatever next, it takes to give you that cat experience. I will be happy to do so. 
cat. It's because he's trying to kill me. Just so you know, I'm writing this. You're <laughs> to kill yourself. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna write this down. Al must. <laughs> Al must have cat steel defender. defender. Cat defender. It could be Thunder a thundercat. Cat. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love that we both looked at each other and were like, Thundercats! Oh, cats! Oh, oh. oh okay. I love this All group. Right. All right. Uh, Rayless Helps, what are you doing? You are, uh, as, as you are getting your bearings, the light of the teleportation circle fades away. I would like to look around. Okay. I was just going to say that, too. Uh, it is a well-lit area. You do see what looks like a bright light all the way down here. Okay. Is there anything else in the room? As you all get your bearings, you are in what looks like a cave structure with going down into the cogs and in the ash black district. You would surmise you might be down in the cogs again. But this is a secret layer of the cogs. Secret tunnel. Secret this tunnel. Secret this tunnel. is where you get your metal. Is there all metal people down here? More forged? Uh huh. Um, as you look around, it is a lit area. It is all of rock. That um, it is a cave. That looks okay. like that. Many years have passed where someone or something. Many some ones or many some things have dug around and made an architecture of this cave. Is it hot? Like, is it stuffy? It's, it's, you feel a- It's a cave. Wouldn't it feel you nice? You do feel a little sense of heat, but not overwhelming. It's okay. not stuffy, but there is, you do feel a, what feels like a gust of hot air coming at you. It looks like it's coming from that bright light. One last stupid question. What does it smell like? It smells like metal. Rock. And moss. Mm. So we can surmise that it is living condition. That if we can assume that Merrick's had a secret laboratory, it would have to be some sort of comfortable living if he was going to spend many hours down here. It just smells that, that mossy moss. That mossy moss. That, mossy that moss. smells mossy. Uh, Drim, movies. Uh, so Drim has got a great sword and she's going to slowly take a step out. Okay. Uh, how far? Through or over mm -hmm. the pile of vomit? She's gonna step through it. Okay. Wow. I assume that, I assume With your bare that, feet. That, I, I, that it's like fairly dark in here too. Yes. He said it was well lit. It, it was, was well lit. lit, and it is being well lit because of what looks like a bright light coming from here that is lighting up this area. So as she takes that first step out, is there anything to immediate left and right, or in the first like twenty feet or so that she would see? Like, is there? You do like, see chairs, tables. You do see any? the stairs that are leading up. This is oh, all wall. Okay. This is all wall that ends here and goes about fifteen feet up. So it it's it's spacious enough to walk through, obviously, but it is. But it's like a cave. There's it's still, a cave. Like it's not smooth. We're, we're it's not just, trying to give us enough height to where we could collapse the entire right. city upon us. Is, uh, is there anything on the walls or anything immediately to them? Is there like a welcome mat? Or There's like, not a welcome mat. There is, is there a, a hat holder or like uh, somewhere where you could put your duster after a long day? For shits and giggles, make an investigation. Hey! <laughs> 18. 18. <laughs> there are no coat hangers or a welcome mat. Okay. Nothing to make this place seem welcoming. Doesn't all. seem like a. This is it's not, not a. This is meant for one person. It's not a laboratory. It's a home. It's not a home sweet home. Yeah. This <laughs> this is meant for. Uh, God bless this lousy. Only apartment. one person is supposed to be in this place. Okay. But it's how how far is that by the way from there to the light source with like sixty feet or so. Mm -hmm. Hundred and twenty feet. Okay, so it's 
pretty darn large. It's okay. pretty darn large, and it's giving off a bright light source. If it won't stay on your guard, we don't know what's in here. Yeah, she's gonna slowly kind of creep her way forward. She's gonna she's gonna keep progressing. Uh, Char is gonna fall. Yeah, so she'll go that way to like whatever. If that's stairs. Or uh, whatever. I need you to make me uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Trap. Guess what? She gets advantage because she's a barbarian. She's a barbarian. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Playing Dremel how she would do it. Full steam ahead. Of course. You take 21 points of fire damage. Ooh. Holy shit. That's halved? That's halved. Oh! Holy shit. Uh, as you step on that first tile past Ooh. the stairs, you, all of you see, and Dremel, you see what looks like sigils all light up red and shoot fire up. She's going to do that in, like, immediately, like, Back the fuck. Yeah. Back, yeah, for okay. sure to get out of that. She's just ah, traps. So as you back up, you watch as all these sigils turn to blue. Ah, fuck, I should have known better. <laughs> Corbin's gonna, gonna walk over and get a drink by and try to, you know, like look her over, try to, you know, like pat out the flames as he sheathes his, uh, um, uh, his flaming sword and try to pat out the flames as best he can. And hand to her um, his uh, uh, his good berry potion. Say here, drink this. These were these are what you were selling, right? Just drink it. She'll reluctantly go ahead. Okay. Um, heal yourself ten hit points. This what does it taste like? Um, it was it, it, it would be kind of bitter at first uh, um, as, as part of the front uh, as part of the front wouldn't really have very much of a nose here for the uh, for, for a scent mm-hmm. um, but as uh, the bitterness kind of subsides you get a little bit more of a sweeter uh, taste in the back that's better than what I was expecting well, they're not called good berries here for nothing I would have called them mediocre berries but <laughs> well you'll I was soon really appreciate these. Thank you. I, like I said, I should have known better. Knowing Merricks and everyone be on your guard. Am I allowed to dash over these? Yeah. You can certainly try. <laughs> well, there's only one way out. Well, after all that. The only way out is forward. For sure, is going to uh, use another first level spell and cast Detect Magic again. Okay. Evocation. Right in front of her. What does that mean? Right in front of you. Powerful magic. More like magic. Isn't it like fireball? Elements to burn or shock or freeze your friends, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if like I barely touch it and dash over it, I'll be okay. So like jump so over it? So if you're going to dash. Can I jump over it? You can certainly try, yes. I'm going to try it. Okay. I'm feeling risky. What do I do for jump? I don't even know. You have to run 10 feet, and then it or it should say what your jump action. I don't know if I have a jump action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone does. I just... It's what, your strength modifier, and that's yeah, how many yeah, feet? Yeah, a strength modifier. Yeah. So I, I press strength, or I add strength to it? So, hold on. I'm, I'm looking it up here right now. I don't have strength. <laughs> gonna die. Or you could always Oh yeah! Can I climb? To put your claws into a rock try to climb. Hey, if Alex Honnold can do it. Yeah, yeah. Tabaxis can do it, right? Yeah. By the way, Alex Honnold is a world-renowned rock climber. He's a freak Wait, we watched the documentary. He yeah, he did the free climbing. Yeah. Oh my god, that guy is a crazy. I had the ter- most terrible anxiety watching that. Yeah, me too. I, my hands were getting sweaty, and I was just like... Yeah. So, from what I can tell, from that trap is still active. It's still active. Okay. 
It's you just jump. I would like it, to climb so, the walls. So if you were to jump, uh, when you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet equal to your strength modifier if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. If you make a standing long jump, you can leap only half that distance. Either way, each foot that you clear on the jump costs a foot of movement. So it still counts for every bit of foot that you would make, or every, every yeah, a step that you would make. And it would still count for your movement speed. Correct. Yes. Which, okay. And what's your strength modifier? Zero? Zero. So can I climb? Wait, 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 what's your, uh, what's your strength total? Is that at the top? Yes. Yeah. So, Zero. So 11. So she can jump 11 feet? She yes. can jump 11 feet. That's pretty solid. That would get you over a couple would, of those it, squares. It, it, Technically, it there. would put you right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's actually That's not a bad it. idea at all. If you started with a 10-foot run. Which she would. Which she's right it. technically yeah. here, so 5, 10, jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd say do that. Yeah, I like okay, that. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Thanks for those this extra would be five acro- hit points. That- so, 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 so there's no it's real not, roll. There's not real roll. roll unless you're trying to do something with your jump. It's oh. just, uh, I'm jumping. Okay, I'm going to Unless jump. you're saying, I'm going to do like a cat dot, cat jump and then dive to make sure I clear or it. Or do then a yes. somersault midair. Yeah, no. So 5, 10, jump, 5, 10, put you right, right in that, there. Into that circle, into that square. Technically. Nope. There's no technically. Yeah, no, you're good. You put her in that square. Yeah, it puts you in the square. Yeah. But I'm okay. saying technically for me. Maybe do you know, like a roll at the end and try to be able to finish up in a little five foot. Yeah. I like that idea. Uh oh. Okay, they turn red again. As you cross Fire over. and ice. Or on and off, you don't know. So I'm gonna look back and be like. Mal will look at you like, I've always wanted to die. <laughs> right. I've always so, wanted to die. I've always wanted to die. There. Cat's gonna right. cat. Mishara Rogue's gonna still rogue. still has the two pieces of the torch in her hand. Okay. Oh, so she's gonna take one piece of the torch and throw it mm. into that. Into that one. Into the fire? Well, into the, into the tracked area and see what it does. Okay, are you throwing from all the way back there? No, I'll move up. Up. Okay. I'll move up to where uh, Corbin is. Okay. So you throw it there, and right as it hits that area, all these grow bright red and shoot out flame. I am going to pull out my decanter of endless water, mm-hmm. and I'm going to try to use that. Next so it looks like up. it's an on and off thing. Unless somebody wants to walk out there where I just did. Well, no, we know that it would be off because I stepped on it. But then you but you were sitting there so, for too long and then it could be. Yeah, could be. While they're blue, Al's going to try to run through. Not going to jump. Not going to jump. Just okay. run straight through. I want you to plot where you're going. So you need to show me where you go. I was going to say, considering you have Corbin, Bashara, and Trinma directly in front of you. Oh, okay. That's all the way at the back. I only have three movements. That's only during battles. Oh, only during battles? Okay. But, like, since there's a trap, yeah, you only have 30 30 movement speed. You know, while they were over here, I was going to go this way. 15, 20, 25. Okay. Wait, wait. What were you doing with your decanter of endless water? Well, I mean, while while it was on fire, I, I'm I'm I've got it ready and just in case somebody gets on fire, and I can literally just douse them in water. Ooh, wait. If you or you need an ice bridge or something. I have an idea. So, <clears throat> Corbin is gonna look over at you. Actually, wait. Have you, have you made the decanter of endless water um made made known to uh, no. uh, to yeah. Corbin? Okay, never mind. Then I wouldn't know anything. No. <sighs> Maybe um, we should tell him. Actually, actually, no. Instead of running across, I'm going to take the in- decanter of endless water and say, guys, let me try something real quick. And I'm going to... All right, nice boy. Let's see. I'm going to 
from over here, because I'm away from Cat, along this far end, I'm going to shout geyser and point it over here. It's going to go for 30 feet um, in this direction, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And then I am going to cast ray of frost to freeze the water and that technically goes 50 60 feet i don't believe the ray of frost would but your I'm, ice breath might your ice breath might or i can be able to cast shape water and be able to freeze the whole thing okay team effort yay that's what it's about yeah ray of frost wouldn't be able to do that okay because yeah. it's just delivering it's cold just damage cold yeah. air. So Corbin would, 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 would kind of look over and see what you and see what you're kind of doing and give you a nod. And be like, I think I see what you're doing here. And he would touch it and just take a deep inhale and blow in the water as so it all. He would have to come at least right here. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be you know like right next to you. I'm probably gonna grab Shara and try to trade places. I'm not really <laughs> asking to do okay. so. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna squeeze on by you. Shara's gonna kind of like punch you in the shoulder for it. Right? Just open his well, you don't even head. you don't yeah. even need to because Bishara was right here. You oh, were I'm right gonna here. You just you. went around, so you're just standing on the stairs. No, no, no. I let. No, I got kind of. No, like he got punched in the shoulder because he tried to push me out of the way. Corbin just kind of looked back and kind of smirked a little bit. Okay. And then go and go back to what he's doing. I'm gonna smack that smirk out of his face. Got him. So how far above the floor are you putting this? Um. Well, well, technically, he, since he's doing control water to freeze it, how how far up? What do you mean? How far off the track? Are you are you just trying to freeze the tiles? Freeze. Uh, I, I mean, well, yeah, we could we could freeze or we could freeze the tiles, or we could literally make an ice bridge while I'm holding the decanter, while it's still in the air. You could freeze it while it's Ooh. midair and just make an ice bridge, so we can just and then we could do a little slip and slide. I can only do about five feet at a time. Uh, uh, based on the spell. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so. So I guess just the first part then. Okay. Um, so I would say you 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 froze maybe this square first. Uh, probably the one that goes right over top of it here. Trying just to, to, to just try and be able to see what happens. Okay. Well, but you, if if Al's standing here, you wouldn't be able to stand in front of him because you would get hit with the decanter of endless water, which would push you back with force. I, 30 feet to go to cast it. Oh, oh, so okay. No. Oh, 30 feet to cast it. Okay. Yeah. So you're freezing this tile. Correct. Okay. As you freeze it, you you notice that the tile kind of like with the pressure of the ice kind of goes down a little and all the tiles shoot out ice. Shoots so out ice. Fire shoots, ice. Shoots out ice. Yes. Okay. Fire like like very crap. cold, like cold damage, basically. So 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 it's almost kind of like kind of, kind of like a wintry gust that kind of comes. Mm. Yeah. Out a of the co- that makes very sense. yeah very cold gust. Like a whiteout. Yeah. Which, yes. Okay. I have advantage going through anyway. Lucky so. Um, yeah. All right. And you the, said there were sigils on the wall. No, there. The sigils just oh, it's just here. the sigils on the floor. Okay. On the floor. I think I know where you're getting at. Is there any like button or sigil oh, or something on the wall? Um. Well, cause Cat's on the other side. Maybe she could check for something. Cat jumped across. That would be nice of me, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 this is the third level spell. Don't. Yeah. Don't do anything that you need I to do that. Two of them, and it's to spell magic. But we don't even know if that would do anything. Because it might actually be like a physical trap and not maybe not something really magic per se. Um, is there a sigil or a button or some sort of? Uh... So Kavir, with your Corbin. Corbin, sorry. One. There's one. one. You do notice that it was considered a pressure plate again with your twenty-four. It was pressure plated. So we're Drinma stepped. Mm-hmm. You would deduce that okay, maybe that's a pressure plate. But also with Cat also jumping over and all the flames all kind of firing up here behind her. They didn't fire. They just switched 
back to fire. Oh, never mind. I never. Yeah, no, it never. No, f- you said it. Did. No, yeah, I never said it fired. I said they went back because it was blue when she jumped, and it flipped back. I'm gonna relay that here for the rest of the then, party and say, it looks like pressure on these tiles is what sep- is what's able to activate this. Yeah, because Bashara threw the torch here. And, and it activated. activated. So here, here, where Drina was, maybe in the middle it's not. She's going to throw the other half of her torch at one of the middle tiles. Does so anyone like have like a quarter staff where you can just start tapping ahead of us? Okay, mm-hmm. so as you, th- as you throw that, you, you are you throwing it? Yes. Because you said it. Yes. It does activate. Flames go off. Back to ice. So you know these three. And no, and this one here. So there's yeah. one, two, three, four. Yeah. Maybe there's a specific path to go through. I mean I have nine more torches. We can always break one another one in half and I have break ten more. I have ten as well. I mean, we may not need to be able to do that. I mean from what we were able to see, just a little bit of ice was able to trigger the plate. I need to be able to wait, waste our resources. Well, I'm just saying. Well, actually, like, Al, how much more water do I have left? Well, it's the decanter of endless water, so. It never ends. It never ends. Well, if we're ever in a desert, that would be me, of use. Uh, me and my uh, magically infused items. Unless Al dies, then it'll go away after a couple days. Well, I hope you never die, small child. Already <laughs> You mean tall child? Tall child. <laughs> as, as you look up. <laughs> as you look up. <laughs> as you look up. Corbin sticks with his own. How, how tall is Al, by the way? Mm, like six something. Like six something, yeah. Like seven foot. Yeah. You're like, uh, I, thought, I thought Al was like six six. Yeah, it's like By six, the way, six. is Cat okay? Wait, Cat, Gorshua? Cat's fine. Like, a Drimma's gonna just, just look. Just watching as, like, every time you guys do something, it's like, oof. Okay, switch. I would like to look around at where I'm at, by the way. Okay. Drinma's gonna look and be like, <sighs> she'll see what everyone's doing over at the at one edge, and then Drinma and Mal will be over at the at, at that edge that, that I'm by. Be like, <sighs> why use your brain when your body can do something? And she's gonna jump over as well. All right. Her and Mal. So. Are you guys gonna hold five, hands while you do it? Ten. Act, and yep. Your strength modifier. It's, it's sixteen. Oh yeah. And Mal's eighteen. Mal's 18. We'll hold hands and do it. Okay. Wow. Aim for the bushes. Okay. Oh, hey, guys. And so we'll just... Because it's sense. So, if you're doing it at the same time... Yep. They do not fire. They just switch back to red. Hmm. When I go back and edit this, I'll pr- I probably didn't say that, so that's my bad. Again. Gotta be more descriptive. I gotta get better at that. I love how he said, that he's, I love how he said he's gonna edit this. Corbin's gonna look over at the rest of the group here around him. Uh, Why does he make a jump for it? We might. But here's the thing here, too. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Apparently not worrying about getting our asses flamed. You already did that, though. Well, I, not it's, me. It's Brazilian. <laughs> I, I, th- I, I think I realized something. Motion. Motion over the top of it is able to switch it from its fire into its ice. Okay. Throw a rock over it. Well, I mean, if we were to possibly jump and not make it, we might want to consider what we might be able to best protect ourselves against. Do you have a will? (laughs) No. (laughs) Not a Kavir. Oh. 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 oh! There it is. Oh. There it is. That saddens me so much. <laughs> well, I don't really have resistances to either of these, so I'm just gonna make a jump for it. So Bashar is gonna go around Corbin. Okay. And Drimma will be there to like child catch her if she needs it. Okay. Uh, strength. strength modifier is plus one. 
Total. What's the total? It's a total of 13. Okay, so. Or my strength. I'll catch you. Ugh. Here you are, Fashar. Thanks, General. Anytime. Are you going to move out of the way? Yes. Okay. Well, Al. You can do it! Here, do a back here. You go next. Do you need a boost? No, hold on. I was trying to see. Perception or investigation? Because you said you wanted to look around. Perception. Perception. Go ahead. I know. I was looking at my perception. Bro. I made it over here. Can I look around to see? Well, that's good. Yeah. So investigation. Plus five. All right, I'm gonna that was go a natural ahead. one that she rolled. Natural one. Fuck these dice. <laughs> Are we gonna do the 13 ones in a row in We've one session? We've had three so far. Yeah, that's three. I'll go for only the, hope. For the group, that was three. I'll go 15 for investigation. Okay. I'll go ahead and do my jump as well. Okay, hold on. Okay. Real world ADHD just got maxed out. Okay. One at a time. <laughs> maxed out. So I have a five in perception. Okay, so six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's nothing around. It's you, you do see, looking around, you do see what looks like a bookshelf here. But in terms of if you're looking for enemies or anything, there's nothing around. My cat eyes are feeling me. You should probably get okay. some glasses. I know, I should. All right. 15 for investigation. Just okay. try Did to you say you have cataracts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> Give me a high five, buddy. That was great. Now Can I have inspiration for that? No. Yes. Oh, it's so <laughs> worth it. Yes. If, there, if there is a time to get inspiration, it's totally on that. I'm fucking puns. No. But I think I should get an inspiration because it's towards me. But he made the joke. Made the joke. Anyway, uh, there is nothing that me. will turn this trap off. <laughs> okay. And so far, everything else looks good. Yes. That was good. Um, can I... Since detect magic is still up, can I detect any magic ahead of me? What's the range of it? 30? I think it's 30 feet. Yes, I believe it is 30 feet. Yes, 30 feet. Nope. No, no magic ahead of me. No magic ahead of me. At least within 30 feet. Within 30 feet. Okay. Oh, that's for what? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay. okay, that helps so, a lot. Yeah. I'm going to move over here and jump. That, that's a wall. That's where that. Oh, that's, that's a wall. Okay, yeah. that's a it's, wall. You have to go over it. Yeah. All right. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Gotta go through it. So, so th- but this is a space on this side too. That, that's a wall. That's a wall as well. I know. Pillars. I mean, there's a wall right there, but over here is that a pillar that's or? A pillar. That okay. is a pillar. Okay. Gotta go over it. Jermo, Jermo, look at you, Al. Do you need a uppy up? Mm. Up. Well, here. Al's figuring Al, that out. I get- Al, I can toss you if you'd like. Or at least try yeah. to help you with a, with a bit of a push. Bashar is going to walk to where her 30-foot range is and see if there's anything 30 feet ahead. Let Al do her thing. Yeah, come on. Seriously, Matt. Real world, ADHD. Al, do your thing, please. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to come across this side then and use my metal left arm to dig a hole into the pillar into the wall to climb around. Oh. Interesting. So like I'll I'll slam You're, you're gonna try to take out a support pillar. I'm not taking out a support pillar. I'm trying to kind of do like what cat like, tried like, does it just like kinda like when you're ice climbing, you use a pickaxe to make a little grip hole. Uh-huh. So then I'll make the grip hole with my left metal arm and then put my regular arm there and then go around and make another Hole with my, uh, so you're with my like spider climbing yeah. along the pillar. Almost, but without the spell. It's pretty clever. One, two, three. Make three athletics checks. Ooh. Three natural twenties. I got a four. Oh boy. A nine. I don't know if Al's very good. And an good. 11. <laughs> okay. 
I give you an A for like very very <laughs> clever way to use. Yeah, that, that's sure. very clever. Definitely, yeah, definitely A for effort. But the dice were not on your side. No. So, very much not. first one, the first time you use your metal arm, it works. But it, you, you do not have a grip. You, you're like, okay, okay, I can do this. Uh, the second one, as you try, yeah, you land right mm. there. Deck saving throw. Jimmo's gonna try to quickly but grab I'm, it. I'm, pull. But I'm on the wall, not on the floor. No, no. You fell. You, you fell. fell. Oh, I fell. Yeah, okay. your four was a, okay, I can't fuck this up or I'm going to fall. And you try to grip again, and you lose your grip. Okay. And fall. Yeah, as a reaction, Jim, I want to quickly grab and pull out. Okay. So make a strength check. Who? Me or? So no, no, you, you, you need to still, still make your you, save. You, you, you still deck need saving to throw. deck saving throw. No saving throw. That's down to the bottom. Your saving throw. You said strength check. Yeah, strength check for you. Okay. Eighteen for my deck saving throw. God, that sounded like a lot of die. This is. Ouchies, bro. I have anxiety. You have cold resistance, though, right? Yep. Because I'm mm, ice type. You, you might not. You you're still ice got your. <laughs> I'm an ice dragon. If you succeed. So she's an ice work. dragon type. Ice dragon. Kunai with chain. But on the plus side, I've also already, even though I couldn't yes. hold myself up, I've also, I've already made the handholds for you. Oh, no, I had 20, no, sorry, 21. Oh, oh yeah, 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and that was a lot of effort. It was probably gonna, it, well, I mean, I rolled a freaking four on the first one. It was gonna fail the jump anyway. Corbin's just kind of just standing there, just kind of just like eyes wide as like this white owl just kind of just envelops Al. <laughs> He's already died once. <laughs> you take 23 points. Is that already half? That's already half. Mm. Of cold damage. Was that, was that a succeed? Failure? That was a failure. Okay, so mm. it is that half was, because you're resistant. I rolled an 18 and that failed? And he rolled a 22. I had a 21 or 22. Yeah. Well, okay. you already lit, lit, I landed there on top of it, so. You probably wouldn't have too much dicks. Yeah. And then uh, 21 for a strength saving throw, so she yeah, she's reaching out. Oh, yeah. You're good. And you're, are you willing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get me off this uh, thing! I'm, so, to help you guys understand, Merrick's is paranoid. And these are traps that have very high DCs. <laughs> uh, she'll see that the cold is on Hal, and she'll go, Jimmo's gonna go, oh, oh, oh. I, I'm... I'm an ice dragon boy. And I so think <gasps> I'm fine. <sighs> Corbin will just kind of shake his head and be like, "It's not going well." And Went well he, for me. And he's gonna take a step <laughs> back, and he's gonna take his ten feet of movement and make his jump. Okay, copycat. Sixteen feet. Sixteen feet. Yep. Sixteen. Damn, dude. Copycat. I'm the only Again, cat upsies, here. I'll carry. I'm, oh, okay. Just jump right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. Just whoop. Okay. So you're over that. By the way, very clever on trying to use the terrain and stuff like that. I thought that was really, yeah. no, that was, no, that was really good. <laughs> it's just unfortunate it didn't. Work and just out. the fact that I had the one arm. You get inspiration. You get inspiration <laughs> for that. It's just you rolls were against you. It was I know. very. It was very clever. It was just the. Okay, I'm trying to do this, and the four was like, "Okay, that's got up the DC. It's like nine. I'm like, "Yeah, we fall on your, we fall on your ass and <laughs> on yeah. the trap." Right, so, yeah. uh, in a second. Um. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take our break here. You guys got past that, so we will be back in ten minutes, and we're back. Hey, hey. Okay. Hey. Yes, we had our our bathroom break. Or restock of drinks and smoke break. So, Rayless Helps has gotten past the stairway trap, making their way towards this light. Are you guys just going straight to the light? Well, Vishar moved. Okay. Don't go into to the light. edge of her first 30 feet. Yeah. <coughs> to see if there's anything 30 feet. No. No? Nope. All right, and keep moving 30 feet up. 
and she's just using her detect magic for as long as she possibly did you did you um I'm relate to the on. rest of the group that there was a bookshelf over there or no 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 okay I'm gonna start walking up here, you know, like, little, like behind Bashar and say, Bashar, where are you going? I'm making um, sure there's no other magic ahead. Well, d- don't walk alone. Wanna come? Fine. <laughs> I've um, always wanted to come. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I was born to die. gonna start making his way up. Coming, um, up virgin. Here, uh, to, like, right kind of like catty corner of, of Bashar. So, have, so, she, so she's gonna get, get, you know, like, like five feet ahead. <sighs> I would uh, like to look at the bookshelf. He's going to be kind of just like looking around and, and look for like the rest of the room here too. Okay. I'd like to look at the bookshelf that I spotted with my cat eyes. <laughs> my brand. My brand. What'd you find over there, cat? Look, 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 special eyes. Well, cat's uh, like... Cat said she was going to follow, go look at the bookshelf and Al's going to be like, well, what'd you find over there, cat? Right, make an investigation check, please. Me? Yes, yep. you. With the face. <sighs> What is that? Do you have any modifiers? No. I think it's just no. straight up. Oh, jeez. Uh, these are books on artificers, Ow, infusions, and uh, a lot of history books on the nation of Cyri. Al's gonna follow and also do an investigation check. Do, do, do. Well, these look boring. 23. 23. Jesus. Books on artificers, infusions, magical properties, and the history of Siri. Any that I can take and add to my collection? I mean, there's no one here to guard it, so. Wait, yoink. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many can I take? Or which one? Which ones look the most interesting in regards to the which ones look the most interesting to you? Ar- artificers, um, infusions, or n- the history of um, Cyri? Both. Um, I want at least one on the history, and then I want whichever ones look like they're the most advanced. Uh, inter- I would say intermediate to advanced, like things that I would be able to learn, but like like they're they're easy enough for me to learn. So like not something that's too advanced for me right now, something I would be able to learn right now, but more advanced than what I know right now. Uh, these are all advanced. Right. They're now. all advanced. These are all okay. to where you are. These are all advanced. Take them okay. all, kid. I think you should take them all. <laughs> well, I don't think I can carry them all. I mean, you got a bag of holding, right? It is well, a new we, day. we 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 currently, well, actually, yeah. Take them all. You know it's what? A new, it's new dawn. Do it. Day. I'll do it. I'm gonna use my infusions to make one of my my first infusion to make another bag of holding, and take as many books as I can. And how long does an infusion take? Um, pulling it up right now. I believe it's instantaneous. Yeah, I thought you just touched it. Yeah. Do you have a bag? Like a messenger bag? I also have one here as well. Um, I don't know. What did you guys use the last time when I wasn't here Here's and you made bag. them? Kadir's bag. Yeah. <laughs> and Bashar's bag. And Bashar's bag. I, like, I have a backpack. Yeah, that backpack. Yeah, yeah, they're in there. Yeah. Backpack. Okay. Use, use the backpack that already carries all of my gear. Turn that into a bag, bag of holding. holding. Okay. I'll your take like, like 10 times light. There you go. Just make it, make sure you make it, you make notes of what you're taking because it might be of use to us later. Yep. Great. Uh, can I borrow a sheet yeah. of paper? Here. Sheet of paper. Yes. What is this? What is this? The 18th century? Okay, a sheet of parchment, if you please, and a quill. And a quill in ink, perhaps. Yes. Is is this pre D and D Beyond? Yeah. I assume like it. I assume everything is like way in the past, right? Well, no, it's just I guess a different world. Yeah. Yeah. It's the year 998. Year. How much is that in Jesus time? (laughs) So how many books am I able to fit in this? Uh, you can get about with what you're you're not you're not trying to fit the whole light. The right, whole no, stack. no. You get ten books. Okay. Mm. I oh. would say. Holy shnikes! I will text you. Okay. I will. I will text you. You'll pick the books. Okay. I, I'm not picking the books. It's I know what 
books you're picking, and I will text you the. Just write down what you're taking, and then just. You're getting three three history books of Syri, C Y R E. And then you're getting seven books of Artificer. Uh, just be an Artificer his- wizard. You know? Yeah, the history of Artificers and Infusions. That could be extremely useful. Let me actually. Can I see this real quick? Yep. I have to make sure. Can I see your parchment and quill? Level six. We're level five. No, we're level five. You're level five. Oh, yeah, you're level five. My bad. Sorry. Otherwise, we'd have a uh, rogue. Bard in the group. We also have a cleric that can negate crits. I thought that was seven. Nope, that is six. Right, Sentinel six. at Death's Door. Is Sentinel six. at Death's Door is level six. Oh my god. Once per round, if you get hit with a crit, I can basically go. Nope. Shrima might uh, need that very yeah, much. Yeah, it's a reaction though, dear. Yeah. Still, that's it's incredibly, incredibly useful to have. But yeah, okay. So nothing you nothing you can use right now. That's useful. A lot. Very, very useful. But eventually. I have a real eventually. ones. Yes. Eventually. You're learning. Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry, that was um, loud. That takes you about like eight minutes because you're... Okay. While Al is doing that, there's nothing ahead of me magic-wise. No. Correct? Can I yes. also use... Yes. My eyes of the grave to make sure there's no undead. Ooh. 30 feet, no undead. It's 60 feet. 60 feet, no undead. Oh, thank you. Can uh, Drinma and Mal go to that right or to close to side Are you guys you? still holding hands? Well, we looked at each other and then we decided to let oh. them here. Yep. The rock folk don't like the. Okay. The bar. Or the. No, the rock. No, they do. They like it hard. Are you going <laughs> to investigate that area, see if there's something Yeah, can I there? see if there's anything over on that side? Mm-hmm. By all means. Okay, I will. <sighs> Investigation? Investigation, please. Uh, 11. 11 Zs. Um, hey. This looks like magical energy that is hmm. being harnessed and going that way and towards that light. So it looks... Um, is it like a vein of magic? So think or? life stream. Okay. She's going to call to Corbin. Corbin. Over here. Have you ever seen anything like this? For sure, here we're gonna we're, we're gonna make our way over. Okay. So describe to me what I'm looking at. I don't really know, but it looks like some sort of vein or stream of magic energy. Is it giving off any magical signatures? Magic. It's not. A, detect magic is. Okay, it's, school, school. It's, it's school magic. This is just this pure is just raw magic. Raw magic. Is this something that? Uh, they were processing for That's why shards. Detect magic isn't technically going off because it's not a school. It's just it's just pure raw magic. Yeah. Is this what they were using for shards? Is it maybe they'd use in the process? This could be what they're using to power the forge. I mean, it doesn't have a specific school of magic. It's just pure raw magic. It, and it's just open, right? Yeah, it's just open. Can you jump in? N- no, yeah. no. You die, sure. Uh, can Drinma take her great axe and kind of dip it a little into it? Yeah. She's gonna do that. She's got her. She's got her. You know, great sword. She's gonna sheath that. Take out her great axe and then just kind of maybe dip right there to see if anything happens to it. Uh, you get an extra d6 <sighs> of magic damage. Temporary? It's temporary. Okay. But as you, so as you dip your great axe into it, it begins to grow, it glow this bright blue energy and kind of coat the axe itself. Cat sees something is going on and wants to go and 
join the rest She's of She's going to show off that great axe to Corbin and Bashar as well. Can it's, you move me? I got you. This is dangerous, it seems, and it seems like my great axe has a little bit more you know, strength to it, if you will. Not a bad idea. So after um, Drunma dipped it into the magic, does it do anything with detect magic, or is it still just raw it's magic? Just raw magic. Be careful. Corbin is going to try and be able to take his uh, um, his long sword and dip it in there as well. Okay. So as you dip it in, it also gets that coating of blue magical energy glow. Mm-hmm. It is, and you get an extra one d six. Um, for the sake of damage, this is technically going to be force damage because. It's magical, but I need to I need to assign something to it. This is force damage. <laughs> so you get an extra one d six. Can I dip my cloak of displacement? It's already magical. I want an extra magical. Well, we don't know. Those magics might clash. That's true. Your so magic. I have a request. Since I used my de- my uh, water skin last night, last time to create this decanter of endless water, which means as a group we always have water, can I use somebody else's water skin to make another decanter of endless water and fill it with this stuff? The shower is gonna be <laughs> so I'm gonna. Would I be able to do that? Because I can. Yeah, it's, fill it with raw magic. Because it's it is it in, in liquid form or. It's, Magic. It's magic. It's, it's, it's you can try. Yeah, 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 you can try. You can try. certainly try. But I mean, if anything, we'll have a second decanter of endless water. So if the break, group has to break up into two, we have two unlimited water skins. So I'm gonna use purely my... rests on you, DM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use my second. As long as it, uh, I mean, as long as it's liquid. Yeah. To that, that brings up a great point. It has to be liquid, so it's yeah. Cause, whatever cause you think of raw magic, if it is, have a, some sort of, I guess, corporealness. Right. Or shelf life. Or shelf right. life, yeah. So second and last infusion of the day to create this, take the second water skin to turn it into another decanter of endless water. Okay. So you'll have to... Yep, I will it'll it'll still the water skin and add decanter up in this water. Yeah. So you're gonna dip this into the magic. And see if I can make it hold this if it's a liquid form. I'm gonna let you roll this. Roll a d20. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You just destroyed my fucking water skin. Oh no, because they're so precious. <laughs> so as you place this water skin in, it this already being infused with magic, you watch as the water skin almost deteriorates. Mm-hmm. And what made it the decanter of endless water, you see this ball of water just start to rip apart mm-hmm. and be Become part of this magic well. Okay, so I'll take that off. Again, Al, your curiosity of be- something beyond our normal comprehension is most admirable, but right, I don't so, think it will work like that. Well, so maybe perhaps because the decanter of endless water that I created oh was already God. magical, perhaps if we just tried to use a regular water skin. I will hand my water skin to you then, now. Corbin. So, to use them. Actually, let me double check. Just, again, curiosity. Uh, you all do notice that that light is starting to shine a little brighter. In this Ooh. far off corner? In this far off corner. Okay. Because I added magic to it. Everyone quiet. <laughs> that was perfect. That was like Sorry. <laughs> As Cat drinks a white claw, ironically enough. <laughs> um, only Corvin will hear this, but you do hear what sounds like metal 
and wood. Kind of this. Three warforged start to walk up, almost Ooh. like a patrol. Meal shit. Right Corvus gonna look back in that direction, notice them, and then whisper to everyone else, "Everyone, we're not alone." Take your steps back and spread out. And scatter! Scatter! <laughs> no, my no. friend John, who is now a father. I like to go into that little Just shadow. That little shadow area, right? Yeah, chain wall. Right in the middle? Well, it, I think this yeah. One. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that, isn't that a pit? The black areas, are they pits? It's a pit, but it is. Con- Basically, because I don't no, have another her, piece. She, this so one. To go into like a this dark one. Space. Yeah. Is that a is that a wall or a? This pit? is a very very hashed not hashed out wall. A very poorly mined area of this cave. So it is a wall. But it's like a shadowy wall, it's, right? Yeah. Could probably use it for some sort of protection. I think is where he's getting. Yeah. At. Basically, it's it's the way the this light is casting. It does create this. Shadow effect. Okay. As as she is, I'm go going over there. over there. Corbin is going to run over here to about as far as he can. Okay. Feet. So. Shara's going to. Sorry. Uh, well, we're not in battle yet. Open up to one. Yet. You're going right here. Yeah. Trimble will take uh, right make between a them. <coughs> stealth check, please. Technically, yeah. Can Trimble move just... about ten feet left of Corbin? Mal. Corvin? Corvin. Corvin. And then Mal will be maybe like two feet closer, or two squares closer to you. Uh, more that way. <laughs> Adjacent. Yep, right there. And then Mal will be two blocks closer to you from there. Yep. Okay. The Shar is going to open up, uh, do you mind to Corvin? And just say, try to stay within 30 feet of me. We can communicate to him that way. You got um, it. He, you're, I think you're outside 30 feet. Um, I should be at exactly 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, so, 20, 25, 30. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly 30. Okay, I got 11 plus 9 for my stealth. God. So 20. 20. God damn. <laughs> dirty 20. Bravo. Dirty 20. Okay, yeah. By the way, I love calling it a dirty 20. Yeah, dirty yeah. 20 is really good. Yeah, dirty 20. It's since picked up in the other campaign. Yeah, dirty 20s. I, I, I heard it the first time when I was listening to XP Level 3. Shout out to you, big, big man. Oh, yeah. Um, big guy. But... Uh, yeah, I heard it first time there, and I've just been using it ever since. Oh yeah, Dirty Twenty is great. All right, uh, you guys do watch as Cat kind of like goes to this area and doesn't disappear, but you do lose track of her. What does your cloak Except do, by the way? Except for you, Corbin. My what? What does your cloak of displacement do, by the way? You do. Um, sit, one, sit, 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 with sit your there. with your passive perception mm-hmm. to the rest of the group, Cat kind of does just like fade away, but you still see Cat. You're like. Okay, she's hiding. Again, your passive perception is stupid high. That it is. So you still see her, but the rest of the group kind of just watches Cat kind of fades into shadow. It, it, it creates a illusion. You're basically creating two oh, images of, of yourself. Gotcha. And as long as you don't get hit, it's disadvantage on your attack rolls. Uh, attack rolls against you. To There's two the images of you, and they're trying to hit you. So, so, so it's kind of like casting like mirror image. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like so bad. That's so good. Fifty fifty chance of getting hit. Yeah, that's so this freaking good. Yeah, yeah. And for this advantage. All right. Um. So is everyone where they want to be? Um. So move the shara up ten feet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you taking it in the back. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm still at seventeen hit points. No one ever bothered to be like, hey, are you okay? No. Fine. Oh, good job, everybody else. He's a child. You gotta learn. Life is tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was what? gonna die. Again. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you now see 
behind the three Warforged soldiers are two animated armors. They are basically Fuck. basically just plate armor that you see two what were supposed to be eyes, but they're just magical balls of light that are they used to see that are animating these armors. Fuck. Uh, Shara's gonna real quick pull potion out of her uh, bag, turn around, and catch. Toss right. the potion of healing. Catch it. Which one? Was it that? Uh, just a regular. Just a regular. So what's that? Uh. Two D four plus two. Pete, as a fellow DM, would you make them roll for this because you're trying to stealthily throw a potion? Absolutely. Please, please do that. Okay, I said I, I need confirmation. I would, I would call that uh, um, a dex roll, and I would use either sleight of hand. Actually, no, I would entirely use sleight. Yeah, of hand. it's a sleight of hand because I just had, I had to confirm with my other DM here. It's you're trying to toss something as. Well, well, or you could say industry. you can't. You were right next to me. You could have she said already, she already moved. I already moved. You already, already moved. moved. You cannot retcon that. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> no plus or minus. Where that's included. Oh it. no, it was a two. Plus two. two. Plus two. two. So a four. You're trying. You're still trying to catch this. Okay, so I have to catch. I, I have to. Maybe it's a bad thing. It that doesn't break. It probably fell here to the ground. It might, might be rolling. So mine. I, I, I just. Hand I, well. I up the DC. Okay. Like I, this is one of those. It's like you're still gonna. I'm still gonna let you roll, but the DC now to catch this thing is pretty freaking high. So I gotta roll sleight of hand. No. As well. No. Or. I would say just like a dex check. Yeah, this is just a dex check because she, she threw it as the shard threw it. Like, it, it. it, yeah. it yeah. like she didn't grip it right. It rolled it, off my hand. Yeah, basically. You, yeah, she so, still has the force behind it. This is a it. bad throw. Yeah, this is a bad, bad throw. throw. Must have been Baker Mayfield. Sixteen plus two for eighteen. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. Because you rolled a four. What was your DC? You said. That's right. You literally come a few inches away from it hitting the ground, and you're like... And I grab it. <laughs> and I grab it. Like your, with the claw tips from your... Yeah, yeah like, with the... Yeah. Like the tips of your claws. It, it, it's, it's like the action movie of one more second, one more inch. It's hitting the ground and making a noise, and I just... I, we got it. I got it. Right. Okay. 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 No, wait, wait. So, are we all trying to be stealthy here at this point? Because if so, we shall be. We I would. I would. I would think. I would think not. what with what Corbin had said, Drinma and Mal would probably know it's like it's go time. So they're like they're starting to get in position. Yeah. Yeah. Position. yeah. You're okay. All right. So, I mean, if we're just initiative. coming here into position, I mean. So it's two D four plus two. And a one. one. So six. So, no. No, two D four. It's two D four. You roll two plus ones two. plus so two. It's four. four. Okay. Better than none. So, if we're all just getting ready here for battle, Corbin is is, is going to draw it, um, uh, uh, his longsword again and whisper into it, "Hell of it," and it ignites it as an inferno, very much making himself well known. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So well, I mean, I mean, we're all in this pretty well lit room here, anyway. Yeah, yeah it's it's they, they, as they approached here, they it's see us. yeah, but they, it's they, they don't. They're not perceiving us as human. Right. Yes. And then the flame sword lights up. So now it's time to roll initiative. Yeah. Good job, like, did nobody it, we have? Did, we didn't know. We are entirely intruding on this, and they are coming up here to go check us out. Yes, that's true. Does anybody, right, so I'm saying, does on, anybody everyone. have really good charisma for trying to talk them down out it's of this? Too fight? late now. Nah. No. I got ten. All right, uh, hold on. Twenty-five to twenty. Hold on. Um, 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 I have a twenty-one. Twenty-two. Oh shit. Twenty-two. 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 You had an eight to that. Okay, do your math. 
Do and the ma- real, maths quick, real quick maths. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, she's oh. also yeah. we'll just give you. We'll just give you the first one every time. I think that makes the most yeah. sense. All right. Um, nineteen to fifteen. Sixteen for Drinma. Sixteen for Drinma. And okay. what's Mal at? Uh, so, sorry, sixteen for Mal as well. Sixteen. Uh, who has the better initiative bonus? Mal does. So, uh, it's right there. God damn! How does she have fucking plus four? Uh, oh, what? Did, so you're tied with someone. Drimma and Mal are tied, no, but no, you're tied with. Oh, okay. What uh, is your initiative bonus? Uh, Drimma is a plus three. Mal's a plus four. Plus three. Wait, okay. what's my, like, so you... like I said, how the fuck does Mal have fucking such high decks? She's a fighter. Dex. I know. <laughs> All the decks. Uh, fifteen to fifteen to ten. Fifteen to ten. 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 Okay. So. Uh, I agree. Top of the round, Cat Benatar. Cat, Cat goes first. Big surprise there. <laughs> what are these people? Things. Are these are your Warforged. These are animated armors. So Warforged are metal. Mm-hmm. But, Animated yeah. armors are metal. They're made of what? What's from a smile what for? What you can see, they're made of metal and wood. These are the. F- this is a generation one war forge, basically. So these are the prototypes, essentially. Not prototypes. This is the first. We call them pre-releases in the business. This was the first wave. Pre-release during the pre during the war. So they're pretty weak. We call them kickstarters. Okay. We'll call them Kickstarters. Okay. <laughs> right. you, Malachi, what are you, or not Malachi. Cat Benatar, what are you doing? I am... I'm going to use my short sword of life stealing. Okay. To the guy closest to the wall. So coming out of cover... With assassinate. Yeah. So 5, 10, 15. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Your attack roll at advantage. Kill this mofo. I don't know what I had to this. It's okay. So 11. Four. So 11. 11. And then. It's like plus six, nine, something stupid like that. Yeah, plus seven. So 18 would be the hit. Yeah, 18 is going to hit. All right, here we are. Assassinate this mofo. I went a long time without playing, so I kind of forget all my things. Look at your equipment or your actions. I have been, but I don't <laughs> understand again. Okay, so what does it say? Um. Short sword is what? Like 1d6? Well, it's a short sword of life. So you're oh, six. yeah, so I don't know what that means. Okay, so yeah, it's a 1d6 plus 3. Okay, mm-hmm. so roll a d6. Oh, shit. Three, so six. Okay. And then plus your sneak attack. Yeah, now roll it's a 3d6. Yeah, 3d6. 3d6, yeah. Yeah, 3d6. Four. For a ten. Another four. 14. Jesus. Three. 17. But it's an auto crit because it's assassin. Right, yes. This is all prior to, so we're already at 17 damage, and then 3d6 would be 18, and then the 1d6. So the 24 so far. 24, so 31. 41, sorry. 41. 41. Jesus. Holy cow. Yeah. Holy cow. Okay. So, as you come with your short sword, you. Take it and coming out of the shadows, you stab right in it, right where its neck is, and you watch as the Dawson in his chest just the light of it fades away and it kind of crumples down and breaks apart. That is dead. Woo! Nice. I would like to use my. Uh, is it a bonus action or yep. whatever? I want to move back. So disengage. Yeah. Yeah. She, have- oh, yeah. she has to disengage. So bonus action disengage. Yep. Because you're a rogue. Yeah. Okay. 
So you if you turn down just a little bit. Yeah, he turned down a little bit. So you use 15, you, last 15 of your movement, 5, 10, 15 right here, good? Okay. That's a rogue, man. And then hide back in those shadows? Oh, she can't hide. It's a bonus action, so, and she used her bonus action. She literally used her bonus action. That's a fantastic, fantastic All right, Vishara. Okay. Ooh. So as that first Warforge falls, you do notice the two Warforges, um, this one produces its arm blade, and this one draws out its bow. Okay. Um, I am going to use a stick action. Let's see. I need to play Final Fantasy VII again. <laughs> right? Remake, man. Surprising enough, have it downloaded. I haven't played any of it. But we, when, when do we have time? I know. That's that's the tough Who part. Who has the time? Wait, uh, what, what do we want to play here for like battle music? Uh, go to Tabletop Audio. Oh, also, shout out to Tabletop Audio. 100% free. Does have a Patreon. It's a dad that plays D&D with his kids. And all the music he does is... By the way, 100%. every time that I edit, I do use yeah, that audio. Use Tabletop Audio. Okay. It's fantastic. Bonus action. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get within 30 feet of one of the animated armors. So go. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so that's. Five, yeah, she can reach there. Yeah. So, right here. There. Yep. Right about there. Okay, and then I'm going to hit this guy. Okay, he technically has half cover because you're trying to shoot. Ah, ah, ah. Are you? I can see him. Channel to Divinity, pass the grave. Okay. Use my action. Oh, I put it as bonus actions. I literally turned it as bonus actions. Even hey, Pete. All right, I'm doing it as an action. Hey, Pete. Okay. One more time, just a little um, bit. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Go. There you go. As an action, I can curse one creature I can see within 30 feet until the end of my next turn. Next time you or an ally hits the cursed creature with an attack, that creature has vulnerability to all of that attack's damage. Okay. Mm. Okay. So that's that's so a pretty awesome move. That is cursed. It's a hell of a channel divinity. So I don't have a curse. Just put some on. So we're going to do charmed. That means he okay. is vulnerable to his next attack. All right. Uh, so that's my action. Hold on. Where's my hex? We're gonna do hex. Hex. That makes more sense. Hex, yeah. We're gonna do hex. Okay. And then so. bonus action. I'm going to use uh, Corbin, you're on deck. A first yeah. level healing word on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your word? <laughs> okay. There you go. That's what I'm going to do. 1d4 plus 4. Oh, nice. So you heal 8 hit Sweet. Nice. Okay. Um, movement, action, bonus action. Corvin, it is your turn. All right. So. Um, well, the uh, most no. heights on deck. Okay. Well, the most pressing individual here. Um, so we the, well, yeah, yeah, I guess you know, like the closest one here to us. I'm going to use my favorite foe um, feature trait and cast Hunter's Mark mm -hmm. as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. This one here. The closest Warforged? Yes, the closest okay. Warforged. Uh, not Hunter's Mark. And this one? Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> you would think it makes sense. Yep. And with his long sword, he's gonna grip it here with both hands, and he is gonna just take a bit of a crouching stance and bolt straight forward here towards him. And yes, he uh, should be 25 feet. And, and, yep, there yep. you go. And he is going to slash into this thing two times. Okay. With his flaming sword. Your deck rolls. All right, so first one is a 21 to hit. Ooh, 21 will hit. And second one, we have a 10 to hit. 
Ten does not hit. All right, so for the first one then, um, I have a D10 and three D6. Jeez, dude, nice. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now. You said you're using your yes sword, so, uh, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that Pink including sword? the D6? That's not including the other extra D6. So I need, I need another D6 out of the three sets of dice here that I have. There you go. Uh, yes. The one that has all the D6s. Yep, okay, so. Dang, dude. Eight, six, six, four, and four. So. 16, 24, 30. 30. Jesus God Christ. damn, dude. Um, um, I'll stop you. You take your sword and slash <laughs> right across its chest where its docet lies. Mm -hmm. You break the docet in half and you see a little spark of magical energy shoot out and it starts to collapse and fall apart. Yep. Alright. Man, nice. Um, I'm gonna move away Hunter's Mark, but you still have it. Yes. Still yeah, yeah, it's still active here for a whole minute. Yeah. Alright. Um Yeah, that will actually end my turn. Don't you have two attacks? He already he used, used, used one missed. Missed. Yes, that one missed. Oh that's right, that's right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um hold on. Yep. You're on deck, but it's someone else's. Turn. That's fine. Do your thing, Chicken Wang. Is this uh? What is this? Uh -oh. Tabletop audio. Is that table? That's good, man. Yeah. Which one is? Can you tell me which one it is? Uh, I might actually yes. use it up Field in our of Field of Heroes. I might actually use it up in our. Oh man, he's breaking out the uh So you watch as what you know what you realize is a side forge. You see the four blue crystals on top of its head and a giant blue crystal in the center walk up past the light and you see all these crystals start to glow bright blue and holds out its hands and shoots out a force of psychic energy and is going to use psionic blast. I need uh, I need Cat Benatar. Well Cat would be right back here. Wait, or, or did it's you move? Not, she, 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 she moved. moved. Okay. It's it's a cone. I need cat. Would it be just that? Yeah. Or I need Can I do uncanny uncanny dodge? Mm, no. No. Because uh, it's an AoE. But if it's a spell... If you, if you had evasion. Well, don't I have the... Uncanny dodge would be if they made a specific attack roll on yes. you. Not you having to make a saving throw. But what I if, need... Okay, but what about the wait. cloak of displacement, though? That's, That's only on the attack ways. rolls. Uh, I need Corvin and Cat to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because I was thinking, I guess what? Yeah, I guess that's what with what Swashbuckler, right? Isn't that with yeah. Ashley last campaign? Yes. Like she could basically dodge Dex. How do I do that? Dex. And then add your Here, you take Corvin. Corvin. Two. Times two. You take 33 points of force damage, and you are knocked 5, 10, 15, 20 feet back, knocked prone. Cat Benatar, you take half. So you take four. 12. No, 31 oh. to have. So would 15. Be 15 points of damage. Hold on. 10. Yeah, 33, so half. Like 16. 16. 16. You are not you are not knocked back and you are not knocked prop. Well shit. Well hell. Um that is that. Uh as that psionic blast shoots across and hits both Corbin and Cat, you hear this Cyforged. You do not belong. That is its turn. 
Um, Mal, you're up. Jerma is on deck. Can you move Mal? Wait, up? wait. Was that this one? That was no, this guy this way this over guy here. Right here. Yeah. Can you move her up thirty feet? Ooh, shit! I dropped something. Thank you. Did that put him Welcome. up there. That puts her within ten feet Thank you. of the warhorse. Uh, mm, yeah, so move her back another 10. Yep, put her right there. And then she'll take the dodge action. Okay. Dodge? Okay. Yep. So disadvantage on melees. Uh, Druma, you're up. And then she can go, what's her... So she goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yep, move her right there. And Trinma would like to rage. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's a red, red, raging. I love it. Rage, and she's gonna go with that great sword of hers. All right. Make your attack roll. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's gonna hit twenty-two. Oh, twenty-two will hit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so that's gonna that be... That fell under you, Avery. So, so many condition rings. Thank you. So a little time. 23 points of damage. Okay. The first hit. Yeah, that's what the first hit. Second hit, 23, or 21 again. 21 will hit. Uh, did you add the extra D6 of rage? I sure damage? did. Okay, just making sure. 17 points of slashing damage on that. 17 points of slashing damage. All right, so as you take your first strike and go down on the Warforge, you slash it across yeah. its chest. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and almost split in two, and then using your momentum, kind of go back up where you struck and, and finish it and slice it in two. You watch as the Dosset just slowly grows black and it falls. I love being able to attack twice now. Hell it yes. feels so fucking good. It feels Dude. so satisfying. And if you go reckless? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of guys right there. Yeah, right. Not quite so, reckless. Uh, uh, the Warforged or Gone. I keep forgetting Ow. to do great sword weapons. It is your turn. All right. You're way back there. I know. I know. I'm gonna move right about here. And I'm going to cast first level spell Grease. Mmm, um, Grease Lightning. Yeah, I'm hey. going. Sandy, you can't walk out of a driving movie. Yeah, I'm Christ. gonna. I'm gonna cast it on this one in the center because. Slit Grease covers the ground in a 10-foot square centered on a point within range. And what's the area? What's the range? 10 feet. So Ooh, what's, what's the your range? range? The range is 60 feet. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, You're I shift. counted before I moved. Okay, so right here? No, um, right here on this guy. So okay. it, should go, it should encompass all three of them. Okay. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Jeez. So slit, Sinner. slit grease covers the ground in a 10 foot square centered on a point within the range and turns into difficult terrain for the duration. When the grease appears, each creature standing in it must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or fall prone. A creature that enters the area or ends its turn there must also succeed on a dex saving throw or fall prone. So immediately when um, it's what's, tapped, what's the DC? Have to make a DC is 13. 13. Ain't nothing. Okay, so Cyforged succeeds. Uh, animated Armor succeeds. Come on. This one fails. Hey, all right, there we go. Cool. But then they still have to do that again at the end how of long, the turn. How long does that last? Uh, one minute. Okay. Shit, wow. But I can always cast it again. Or, because cause that was... Oh, shit, I kind of like that idea. It's a, like, it's we'll a just take chip shots from... This first one. level, it's a first level spell slot, and I have four of them, any, but I don't know how many we any, have. Any uh, bonus action? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. bonus action, I'm going to do... That's a pretty undervalued spell, by the way. Yeah, right? That's actually, a lot of it's like, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty solid. I like that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. bonus 
actions. What is it like? Um, ready, I guess. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what what. You know, you can go on. under actions, mm -hmm. and there's a there's a tab oh. that says bonus, bonus action. action. You can okay. determine exactly what you have that is a bonus action. You already cast the spell though. But I cast. All right, yeah. I yeah. Cast. So you yeah you got it. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Good. Got it. So it is the <clears throat> first animated armor's turn. It's going to use half its movement speed. Stand up, and it's difficult terrain, so half its movement speed again. Yep, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, turn. That's that's excellent. Yeah, that's Green excellent. Man. Good crowd control. Yeah. Basically, our wizard of the group. Thank you. Hey. Hey. All right, it is the second one's turn. Half movement speed. Half movement speed. Okay. That is its turn. Yeah, that's its turn. Oh, wow. Got that hours up. Push hours on deck. Question. Yes. Um, with the um, uh, with the amulet of protection that you gave me. Yes. Um, would I be able to use that to create a resistance to psych uh, to psychic damage? Well, remember we said elements. That's why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if psychic you can consider. Um, maybe. if I choose a resistance, I mean, typically it'd be like acid, cold, fire, fire force, cold. lightning. Yeah. So well, I don't, I'm not sure force speed involved with that lightning. Uh, yeah, only erotic maybe. Poison. So thunder. it's elements. So it's thunder damage, cold damage, fire damage, acid, so fire, acid. lightning. Would poison be in there? No, Poi no it would not be. Uh, thunder, cold. Yeah, I think covers up. That covers about ninety percent of what you're going to come into. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, except for psychic. I mean, that's psychic and bludgeoning are one of the hardest things to have some sort of resistance to. Cat. Mm -hmm. Trouble, oh, yeah. You're up. You're up. It's your turn. I had to pee. Sorry. You're fine. I know the feeling. Um, How to use the little so box. So neither of these two here have have actually fully attacked yet. Yeah, yeah they, they just got out of the grease. They, they, they have not attacked. Hell yeah. <gasps> I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blink dagger sneak attack. Um, which one? Well, it wouldn't really be a sneak. Well, actually, no, never mind. It wouldn't be a sneak attack. It would be a set sneak. Well, first of all, I'm hiding in the corner. Okay, so just poke what, down a little. What's your range on your, on your blink dagger? Oh, it's like stupid. Like 60 feet or something like that. 60 feet at disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's only 20. Yeah, okay, 20 okay, that's not too so bad move then. Yourself out. 5, 10, 15, move one, one over. Yeah, that's 20. Technically, because you're in the. So you'd push yourself right there. 5, 10. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Yeah, do it. Four. And Logan. Oh. Because they have, yeah. Okay, because you're assassinate. Yet. Seven. I think so it was seven. You four. add seven, so 14 to hit. 14 is not hit. So you throw your blink dagger and it kind of just whizzes past the animated armor's head. Does it like maybe land in the wall behind it that she could still yeah, probably blink behind? It's hard to see where it lands, but I wouldn't. No. no. I guess R.I.P. Blink dagger. I'll collect it later. You can still get it doesn't get crushed. You could always move Push. and then hide behind that wall again. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna just hide behind the wall. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. Are you gonna use your bonus action to hide this time? Yeah, it's a roll okay. stealth check, so right? Stealth check for me, please. Yeah. Rogues, man. Okay. Plus 
nine. Nineteen. Okay. So plus that, nine. That was a sixteen plus nine. Oh, oh I thought that's a ten. No, that's a 16. Okay, 25. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so she poked out, and then All right. she was going. Uh, Vishar, you are up. Corbin, you are on deck. Okay. I'm going to go with second level guiding bolt on this animated armor. Are you gonna move so you don't hit now? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. There. Okay. I mean, I'm sure she can go to to like yeah. mark it. I mean, it's not. It doesn't say that it's like a straight line. Yeah. Okay. There's a few of them. I, I want to say Ray of Frost says straight line yeah, or something like that. Yeah, Ray of Frost is a straight line. Breath weapon. That is yeah. a twenty-one to hit. Hell oh. yes. And he's already vulnerable to this. Yep, yeah, because he hasn't been attacked yet. So this is five. Jesus. Get it. You've already got them prepared. It's a lot of clicky clacks. Clicky clacks. 15 points of damage. Is that double because he's vulnerable? Yeah, it's double because he's vulnerable. 30. So 30. Shit. All right. Keep the little kitty cat. Bonus action wise. And it is a dance, and it is a dance, 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 he can have his movement, so he only has 15 left. Yep. And Corbin is gonna um, kind of grab his head and just think in his mind, ah, fuck, that hurt. <laughs> and as he stands up, thinking about how much that hurt, um, he is going to um, use. Uh, um, do you need to make a concentration check for him to No. Not, okay. not as. No. Normally you would, but not because of of how it's it changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for, for the revised ranger, uh, for favorite foe, it is no longer actually casting a spell. It is now it's a feature trait. Yeah. Okay. So, Which it always so, should have so been, but no yeah. longer. Yes. Yeah. Thank God. Okay. It should have been. That's good to know. <laughs> yes. No worry. We're good. Right. That's why I made. I didn't make him make a con mm-hmm. save because okay. it's 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 not a con. It's just this is an ability. It just happens. Okay. Yeah. yeah I just I wasn't Sweet. sure because yep. I'm mean, used. Roll yeah. And mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Making constitution checks. Yeah. yeah. No. This is that doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Thank God. Woohoo! Oh, that's good. You still don't have your hunter's mark. All right. On there too. So, um, Corbin is gonna switch his hunter's mark um, to this guy, <coughs> one that Bashar just tried to nearly take out, <laughs> and um, Corbin is going to. Alright, so Corbin is going to <laughs> move up 10 feet. Is right here. Okay. And he's going to cast Produce Flame and fire directly at this guy. Okay. Right, produce Flame, that is. I produce it in his lungs. As he holds it in his hand and just throws it directly at him. And he is going to roll right. a. Right there, right there. I will use my inspiration die. <laughs> All right, that is a uh, that is a sixteen, sir. Sixteen. That hits. Nice. Yes. Nice. Wait. Nice. Yeah, that for him. Yeah, yes. that hits. Yes. Because hunter mark, right? Yes. So that'll add to the damage. All right, so. Um, Hunter's Mark and 2d8. Where are my d8s at? 
Where my D8's at. Try Pyramids. Pyramids. Got him. Yates and I'll throw you in there. Alright, so I will actually use uh I should know I cannot use my sound die. Never mind. Um so it was a total of <laughs> He said it was two uh, overpowered. Sixteen. He said it was two overpowered. Sixteen. Okay. <laughs> sixteen fire uh, uh, yeah, sixteen fire damage. So as you shoot that fire out, it covers this animated armor, and you watch as the animated armor starts to collapse and almost melt upon itself. Nice. Yes. Nice, dude. Nice. You're welcome. With an additional 30, 30 points of damage. Well, in a way, you had a warm enough for me. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. But I'm Tiss. Thank you. Okay. Who's this Mr. Tiss you talked of? All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, that is my bonus action and my action. Um, I will actually try to be able to move back five feet um, just right here. Okay. Cool. And that is all I can be able to do with rest of it. All right. Is Cyforge turn? Let's see if he gets his recharge back. I know. Okay. It does. So he's going to use half the movement to get out of Greece. So. Are oh, you still in it? That's all Pretty much be all of his movement. Fuck. He got a psionic blast back. Just watch that camera behind you there, bud. Yep, as always. How, f- how far is the psionic blast go? It's a 30 cone. Yikes. Then, then, then he's a 30 foot cone. Not the... Yeah. Because that's where it's the base at. All your base are belong to us. So, cat. All your base are belong to us. Drunma. Mal, Mal. Mal. Mal, for sure. Dex? Uh, Dex. Damn, and, I, and I almost jumped up to be right next to Mal. You got lucky. Right. So, uh, Mal had an 18, and Drinma, natural 20. Nice. 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 What do you got? So now she'll get so slightly fun. She has a Dosakis. Dosakis? Dosakis. Um, two plus her... Question. Yeah, it's, it's Since we've clarified that's... Is that a wall? Or is that just some sort of... It's a shadowy. It's shadowy. shadowy. Okay, okay. All right. Hastily carved out wall. All right. I'm going to die. You're hurting You've always wanted to die. You have that is true. Right. Now you can be a, come back Now you can bard. be a true bard. Alright, so Kat, <laughs> you take 20 points. 28. 28. 28. Ooh, yikes. <gasps> Ouchies. <laughs> Single digits? Mm, Worse. I believe she's just getting knocked prone too, right? But yeah, she's knocked back 20 feet, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, we'll say 20 here, knocked prone. So, 14 for Drinma and Mal. You are not pushed back and you are not knocked prone. Hell yeah. So, that was the ability. Okay, that's as good as it probably could have ever gone. Uh, no. But wait! There's more! Uh, where'd my pencil go? Oh, you stole my pencil. My quill. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, because I gotta actually physically write Mal. No. It's like you have her sheet. But, but you I just can't I can't I can't edit it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh that is the Cyforge turn. Mal, mm-hmm. it's your turn. Drinma, okay. you're on deck. So, Mal's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, the other way. Yep. She's gonna go behind him. Okay. Yeah. As one does. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. So, plus one. Yep. It's not advantage, because we talked about this. Yep. Sorry. That sounded like a snake. <laughs> not a snake. 
A 22 snake. to hit. Oh, it's snake. <laughs> I'm concerned. I said 22, and you're having to think about it. Very quiet. He's going to take it. He's going to take it. Okay, very good. Okay, she's also going to spend a superiority die. And she's going to make this into a... Um, hold on, where is it? No, she'll make it into a distracting die. Distracting strike. Okay. Okay. Forgot how cool her character is. Right. Wow. Okay, um, that is 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Um, when you hit that, you expend one superior die. I get to add the total of that, which is a... D8. God, man. Fucking fighters. What did I say it was? 12? Sorry, that's 18 points of slashing damage. Uh, and the next person gets advantage on the attack. Okay. She's gonna go for a second strike as well. So, would that make advantage? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah. It's it, it, As it says, when you, hit a, when you hit with a weapon attack, you can expend one superior die, add the total to the damage, which we did. And the next attack yeah. roll so against you, the target. So yeah, you get the advantage. I'm gonna use a chunky boy. Uh, 25. 25 will hit? Yep. I'll take it. And that's gonna be seven points of slashing damage. Excuse me, eight points of slashing damage. Do you have the Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty fucking solid for her. So as Mal takes her two swords and slashes, it. You see it is connecting, but almost the crystalline plate kind of doesn't absorb the hit, but it's kind of just, it's not phased by Mal attacking it. Bonus action, she's going to go on the offhand attack. Okay. Because she has a bonus action to do that. That's not going to hit. That's going to be 14. Yeah, that's not going to hit. Okay. That is Mal's turn. Okay. Dang, Mal. Fucking sexy. Grimma. Your turn. Still yep. Raging. Yep. Who's Rage. Under? Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Al is on deck. Um, so yeah, Drimma's gonna fucking keep slamming into this. He's gonna slam into this guy. They're a great sword. She is raging. Come on, baby. Natural twenty. Yes. Natural twenty. Let me get all my clickety clacks. So okay, hold on. So total right now is eight. And then we don't rage doesn't double up too, right? No, we, rage we does say, not double. Okay, so we're at 18 right now. Should I say great boat master though? No. Uh, so the what? The Saka. The Saka post. <laughs> uh 31 points of damage. Okay. Nice. Um can she make the next one, I guess, Great Weapon Master? I think it's totally not reckless. Yeah, you just take the penalty. It's reckless, you have to do all reckless or nothing. Okay. Yeah, Great Weapon Master, you have to call Okay, let's do that can. then. Yeah, I, I completely gonna, blanked on it. Yeah, so. you're just going to take the penalty. Okay. Uh, minus five penalty. Yeah, yeah. Minus, minus five penalty. Fifteen? Fifteen will not hit. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I that. know. Still getting used to my character. Yep. Okay. Yep. That will be her turn. That will be Drin's turn. All right. So as you take that great axe and you strike with all the force down that Tira has gifted you, you do see the sword connect and like start to slash that armor. But you do watch as this side force just isn't not taking the full effect of it. But he is feeling this damage. But it's did the. Uh... Uh, radiant damage seemed to affect him in any way? The radiant damage didn't seem to affect him. Okay, like, right, fair enough. Yeah, the full strike, just, it, it, he's taking it, but it's, uh... Okay. Okay. That tickles. Okay. Ooh, I hope it doesn't tickle. I hope it does something more All than tickles. Right. Al, it is your turn. Al is going to stay put and use his cantrip... Oh, shit. It's not straight. Shit. Uh... Would hit uh, Sounds like it was Ray of Frost. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Which uh, Ray of Frost is like the Dodon Ray. If you were going to talk about Dragon Ball, yeah, it's just a it's straight the line. Dodon, right? I love using that visual. It's like I'm directly pointing it towards. Okay, I'll 
I'll move to the left, to the left. Yeah. Okay. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Five, ten, fifteen. Twenty. Yep, twenty's right there. Twenty. My leg. My leg. And then you shoot ray of frost at the cyphor. There you go. That's a good angle. Which. Uh, da, da, da. 19. 19. 19 will hit. Nice. It seems like with artificers too, it's like they have such out of combat stuff, but like in combat they're kind of yeah. maybe you know more limited wizard. Yeah. So then my two D eight cold damage. It's not is bad. Seven. And then um, his speed will be reduced by ten feet. Until the start of my next turn. Okay. And then I'm going to use my last 20 feet of movement to you move back over here again. Right back behind Corbin. Yeah. Just run right back behind it and be like, you got it, you got it. Or or maybe I'll do 10 or No, 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 no. Ten. If you want to run right here back behind me, go <laughs> for it. Use me as a human shield, go for it. Protect yeah. me. Meat shield! Meat shield! But you're not really human, are you? I am a human, yes. Yeah. Cor- Corbin is a human. Who's right. Ko- Kabira, that was Because I want to stay out of that, uh, that is your psychic turn. damage. It is the animated armor's turn. Mm, the sound of a animated... Gonna move up to you, Corbin. It's Come going to get it, bitch. It's going to take. Mm, fuck. Uh, going to use two melee attacks against you. All right. Uh, first. By the way, everyone, fantastic job. Can I combat. use a reaction? I feel really good about this. Well, I'm like dying. Even though it's... you got tell me before the roll. But you did everything really well. <laughs> Even though you might die. to hit on the first. Again, you've always wanted to die. That's true. What's your reaction? Because I'm about to roll the second uh, attack. The second one would be reaction of doing shield. Uh, invisible barrier of magic force. On you only. On, you only. Okay. on me only? Yeah, shield I, is you I, only. Now, now, now read it over, but I believe it's just only on you. Unless it, it, it does. It, it, it protects you. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Fuck, man. Artificers get shield too? God. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's one of my auto prepared every no. time. I okay. can't unprepare it or switch it out. All right. So Always keep I have like three of them. It's like shield and counter spell. You never take those out. I think I have, okay. what is it? Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. So it takes its left fist mm-hmm. and kind of slams down into your shoulder. Mm-hmm. It, it doesn't, doesn't dislocate your shoulder, but you feel that force of the impact. And as you... Like kind of slumped down, it takes its right fist to try to hitch down on you. But since you fell down, it kind of slides against you. That's its turn. What's our battery at, buddy? No, it's fine. It's just that filled the entire thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good thing okay. Who, who's up next? Top of the round. Cat Benatar. Yeah. You're still prone on the ground, by the way. Cap Benatar, it's your turn. Well, I guess I need to do a saving throw, huh? No. Are you unconscious? Or, no, she's well, prone. No, no, no she just needs to use It's just half, half, half your, your movement speed. speed. You need to go stand back up. Just okay, prone. I'm gonna stand back up. Okay. I was like, no. By the way, where's Vashara? Right next right to you. Right next to you. I'm gonna whisper to you. You remember that ring? Die, I it first. It's six seconds, just so you know. And that's what all I'm gonna do. A, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Just holding your turn. Okay. Just wanted to make that aware. At least, right. at least the, the, the dodge. The dodge action. Okay, fine. Dodge. Yeah. Wait, no. She already has. She already has disadvantage, so she can. Double disadvantage. Yeah. Okay, um, Vashar, it is your turn. Corbin, oh, you are on deck. 
Shara is going to. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Gallic gun. <laughs> Ooh, garlic. Gun. <laughs> it's missing hit points already, right? Hmm. Hold the dead. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wisdom saving throw of DC 15. 15 nice. pretty solid. 15. All right. Blows me away in critical roll when they're like, "Yeah, it's a DC of 17." You're like, "Fuck." 21. Ooh. Alrighty, that does nothing then. Okay. Oof. Uh, okay, That's worth. So that was it's worth the ash. cantrip. It was worth the shot. Yeah. Only a cantrip. Mm-hmm. It's worth a shot. Uh, um, it's worth a shot. You don't need to waste another spell. Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun. Just straight yes. back? Okay. Yes. Alright. Yeah. I'm getting I'm staying as far out of the range of that side forged. I get it. Man. I get it. Alright. Corvin, it is your turn. It is the side forged on deck. Hunter's mark is motherfucker. Hunter's mark. Done. No. Oh, okay. No, the dude in front of him. Oh, 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 the animated armor. Thank you. <laughs> the guy right in front of the guy, him. The guy the guy hitting him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're next. He you are next, head. bitch. Okay. Hunter's mark is on. Um, and Corbin's just gonna look at this animated armor, just stare into these fake white eyes, and just kind of just smile as he grabs his sword and throws it up uh, um, in a slashing motion here across the chest. Okay. That is a twenty to hit. Twenty hits. Dirty twenty. Right. Nice. Dirty yeah, twenty. Dirty twenty. All right, I'm gonna roll damage here first. Yep. Okay. Um. Don't forget the extra D6. I remember. Okay. Just making sure. Alright, so I have a 10, a 6, 2, 2, 3. So I'm going to use one of my silent die. Okay. To replace one of these D6s. That was a 2. And it will now become a 7. Holy shit. Nice. I'm going to find my psionic die. So I have a 10, 7, so that's 17, 23. Uh, 26, 28 damage. God 28, damn, dude. Um, plus three for my modifier. Yeah, so that 31. Be 31. So as you take your flame sword and kind of just carve up, you, you don't split him in half, but you do watch as you're cutting through this steel and wood that are... Just the plate armor itself, because it's the animated armor. You're cutting through the plate armor, and it is starting to almost crumble. It's still up, but you can tell it is very, very hurt. Oof. Okay. Well, second attack. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thanks, you to hit. All right, so that is 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. Fuck, so really? You, damn. Yeah, so you take, as you slash, slash up with that first strike, you mm-hmm. kind of go down to try to do the finishing strike. Mm-hmm. Must be, must be a seventeen. And, right. and you just you hit that plate armor, and your sword just doesn't connect. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do? Mm. I look at it and I go, mm, "Fuck." Could you use bonus action for hunter's mark. Do mm-hmm. attacks. Yeah. I'm not worth it. Nope. I don't really matter if it was that one or not. Alright. Um. No. Okay. No, I'm just gonna look at him and say, Good luck next time, fucker. Okay. It is the size forge turn. Let's see if he gets his psionic blast back. Doesn't. Oh, thank god. I was like, about to die. I was like, this is it. This is yeah, it, I, y'all. I, 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 <laughs> I still got two third level spells left, so. Okay, Save you. Die. 
save you, save you. <laughs> um. I am right up in his grill. Yeah, you are right up in his grill. Oh, well, so is Mal. No, she's behind him. Behind oh, true. It's like I've always wanted to go out this way. We're gonna say it. I've always wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> you were already dead. Wait, <laughs> why? <laughs> I need to Nani? Nani? It's a fucking crazy anime, by the way. Right? It's okay. so gory. It's so gory. Uh, Never watched it. I've only seen just that Rinma. It's gory. It is going to use its multi attack against you. Okay. So I'm going to switch over here. She's still raging like a mofo. Yes, yeah, she is. She angry. Yeah, angry bitch. All right. So first attack. Twenty-seven to hit. Miss. Yeah. Really? Gee, uh, I wonder if a twenty-seven will fucking hit. Yeah, and twenty-two will hit. Those will both hit. Yes. All right. Too easy to hold. I can beat this. Sad. It's the least favorite cat that you you like, guys owned. So chill. <laughs> you look happy right now. Um, so you, so you take four points of slashing damage that is reduced to half. Okay. Uh, but you also take. <laughs> I feel like the I feel like the big number is going to be coming here. Yeah. At least you're raging. Hey, that's barbarians, man. 25 points of force damage. Force damage? Force damage. Shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you're good. Does that get halved or not? No, Dude, that that's not force damage. So. Yep. If you were a bear barbarian. Bear barbarian. Bear bear? <laughs> yeah, barbarian. Barian. Okay, we're okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Okay. Mal, you're up. Okay. Mal is going to try to stab this mofo in the back. Uh, you He's still like, get the plus one. Yep. All he's underneath the table. Uh, 19? 19. 19 will hit. Oh, thank god. Does anyone have a charger? Charger your... Uh, iPad? Type-C. Mm, I do not. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Uh, my phone's at 5% for this encounter bow, so I'm just going to switch over. That's no fine. That's fine. Okay, so she hits. So that's going to be seven points of slashing damage. Okay. She is also going to make... How is this guy attacking, by the way? Is he holding anything? He is using an arm blade. Okay. That has... That basically is vibrating. I, I apologize. So no, again, it's, it's fine. So as that Cyforge slashed across you, the blade itself vibrates, and as it slashed, it almost penetrates your body, and you feel that force inside okay. of you. She's gonna take a. She's gonna do another distracting strike on this guy. Okay. So she's gonna get an advantage. <laughs> Guys. Natural you, twenty. Natural Again. fucking twenty. Nice. Bravo. Do you we keep this? jinxing. No, that's Mal. Wow. On a distracting strike. Hell yeah. Okay. So she's strike. gonna get six. It's gonna be uh, 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, I I'm terribly sorry. So I'm. You're good, man. 18 points? 18 points of slashing damage. <laughs> Fucking cat. Oh my god. I feel like Mal's almost like part monk. She's doing so many attacks. Just like... Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. She kind of reminds, she kinda reminds me of... what to where you had it on your phone? No, I have to reset. You have to reset. Yeah, it, it doesn't say. What's in um in Game of Thrones? The one that Ned Stark fought at the Tower of Pleasure, was it the dawn, the Star of the Dawn, or something like that? Sword of the Morning. Sword of the Morning. It's our other day. Yeah, so he's like you know like that. That's what I feel like yeah. Mal is right here. He, she's just like. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's so cool. Yeah. She's so beautiful. 
super cool character. Wish they, mm-hmm. w- I wish that they could like have gone back and just told his story a bit more. I keep telling you, cool. if, if if they were to go back and make like a spinoff series to be able to tell. Well, Robert they are, Rebellion, but it's going to be. I mean, bef- way before that. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Your white claw is dangerous and close. To <laughs> get to getting a claw. <laughs> okay, so you said. Or I say 17? 18. 18. 18, 18 points of slashing. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Go ahead. Alright, bonus attack. She's going for another slash. Uh. Oh, God. Do you advantage? Nope, because it's only on the next strike for the distracting strike. Uh, 16. The next strike for your attack. This is. Well, that. that Second, uh, her second strike was. This is her bonus action. Yeah, okay. 16. 16 does not hit. Damn. Okay. She'll just go. She'll, she'll look at him and just be like, Wow, you're just as slick as a. As a. You're as slick as a. As is a, that with a plus one? Oh, no. Okay, 17. 17 hits. Oh, shit, dude. Wow, fuck. Because, again, remember how we discuss flanking is you get a plus, plus one, one on your attack and damage. I didn't even take that into account. Thank you. That's 12 points of slashing damage. Jesus Christ. 12 huh? points of slashing damage. All right. Uh, Drinma, it's your turn. Well, uh, you're just like a stick in the mud, aren't you? Oh, my God. Okay. She is going to go fucking ham at this here. She's going reckless. Reckless. And great weapon master. Okay. All right. Um, we said plus one? Because uh, yeah. she's flanking? Yes. That's 17. Yep, hits. 17. Motherfucker. And he will take it. Okay, he's gonna. He, yeah, damn right, he's gonna take it. Hell yeah. Um, right, 10. Uh, 17. 1. I know math. Now we're getting. Now we're starting to get that in the pretty high maths. Now yeah. we're getting into maths. 1. Plus raging. 34. 34. Alright. So you're, you strike down. It is starting to crumble. It is looking. Good. As she as she it's takes really that bad. as she takes that blow with that great sword, it's just like, hurry on, they're almost done. How much fucking help does that thing have? Well, it seems like he's resistant to like a lot of shit too, mm-hmm. like sl- probably slashing and like piercing damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That will be it. All right. Uh, animated armor is up next. Shit. Baka. I, I know I saw that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come here. It's going to go right for you again because you're. Corvin. Right. Corvin. Damn it. Three. <laughs> All over on you. I know. Every time. Do you have to write it down? Uh, yeah. It's, I got marked. I've, I've done three freaking times. Um. Turo. It's okay. It, we do we do a Bashara counter whenever yeah. I call All right. So multi attack against you. First attack is a fifteen. No. No. Second attack is a twenty. Of course it is. Yeah. Dirty twenty. You take eight points of bludgeoning damage. Ugh. And that. Is its turn it is not going to use any movement. Ow! It is your turn on deck. Is Cat Benatar? I. Do, do, do. Um. Going to move over right there for five, and I'm going to use Ray of Frost on this one right up here. Okay. It's a saving throw or attack roll? Attack roll. Attack attack roll. roll. 22. 22. Ooh, okay. nice. And my 2d8. 3 damage. Ooh. 3 damage? Yeah. That's a bummer. Okay. So as you sh- as you extend your hand and that frost damage starts to circle in the palm of your hand and you shoot out, you watch as this animated armor starts to freeze and the right leg crumbles and the left leg crumbles. 
is oh, wins. Knew it was close. Yep. Dang. All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move back another ten feet. Get out of the ring. Get out of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't think he's gonna move with Drinma right in front of him. Cat Benatar. You never know. Oh shit. It's your turn. How many feet am I away from it? Uh, a lot. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah, 30. You're about 30, 30, 30 to 35 feet away from it. How many feet can cats be away? To Baxi's? I think 30. Well, you're a rogue, too, but you also have that, like, feline agility. Mm-hmm. Do you always also have the second blink dagger, or did you only have just one? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You can teleport to that. And then still have movement speed to get away. Yeah, I would blink dagger to it. You have a blink dagger. It'd be, on it'd be about right where that right here. Yeah. Thing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do that. Yep. Bonus action blink to the dagger. Now, mm-hmm. Fifteen feet away. Getting fifteen feet away. In all fairness, would that be considered sneak? I mean, there's. No other enemies, and this is considered sneak attack, yeah, because he is flanked. And because y'all know, I have four health. You always wanted to die, you always wanted to die, go big or go home. I would throw it, use your feeling agility, run away. That's That's a good, yeah, that's a good point. You use your bonus action because it's a but remember, it's a bonus action to teleport. Yes, that's all you've used through so far. Yeah, all right, fine. I'm gonna throw it and then run as far away as I can. So, so attack. This is at advantage because it's a sneak attack because you've blinked across. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're engaged. There also are are, 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 are two people within five feet of it. So as long as there is. Oh a, yeah, not an enemy yeah, next no, to him. It's, yeah. yeah, this is sneak attack. So advantage. Go ahead. That's a pretty good example of sneak attack. 13, so plus 720 to hit. But it's a bandage. Yeah, so there you are so far. 20. Whoa, what the fuck? That's a five, so a dirty 20. Dirty 20 will hit. I thought thought it was quite enjoyable. Ding, ding, ding. So what's your blue dagger? 2d6. 3, 4. Oh, God. And then the 3, 6. Mm-hmm. I thought it said 1d4 plus 4. It's 1d4 and then 2... No. It's 1d4 uh, and then 2d4 of your... It's 3d4. So roll 3d4 and then okay. 3d6 for your sneak attack. So we got 2. two. 4, 6. 1, 7. All right, so that's that. Now roll your 3d6. Plus... Throw a 10 so far. 15. And we're at 21. And I'll add your modifier onto that. So it should be what, a plus three? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So 24. you're at 24 damage. Those are great for just little, like, the killing blow is yours. Yeah, kid! Oh. Hey, Pete, you knocked the camera. Yeah. I thought that was the cats that did I mean, that. it was the cat. Oh, it was the Here, cat. Okay. It's a cat. You're good. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, the killing blow is yours. In the eye, per usual. <laughs> Even though you're beside it? No, I'm beside it. Okay. So as you throw that blink dagger, you hit the side of its head, and you watch as the four blue crystals start, the light of them starts to fade, and it kind of like steps forward and just crumbles before you. As Drima had her sword in hand and watch him crumble right there, I, maybe a little diplomacy would have been better. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Good job. So, Rashari's gonna walk up and just say, How's everybody feeling? Not me, not good at all. I'm at a four out of 47. Okay. And so. More of a look over here, like, I'm not really the greatest. As you see, he's kind of like, bleeding out his nose and possibly actually out of both ears there as well from the, uh, from, from the psychic blast he took. 
Oh. Drim, Drimo's gonna walk up I to you. I took two psychic blasts. We'll see. Al is going to go across all of these, you know, metallic beings that we just slayed, and since they're made of both metal, steel and wood, he's going to salvage just the steel and put it in the battle holding. Ooh, nice. Good. Let's all do this here like, like, like more of a time. Yeah, yeah. So I did the killing blow. Me first. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I was asking how everybody's feeling. Cat kills I think a four. Yes, because I can cast mass healing word. That takes what ten six minutes? People. It's a third level spell though, and I only have two of those. Does that take like, doesn't take like ten minutes or something? I'm da- no, it's instantaneous. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. it's mass healing word, not. Yeah. Not prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Sorry. Yep. No, yeah. Mass healing word. Do your thing. Up to six creatures. Passive perception. Gordon. It's one Corp. D4 plus four. 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 Fuck. Okay. Really. Okay, so go ahead. I'm going to cast mass healing word on all of y'all. Mm, thank you. Well, I mean, you can include yourself because there are six of us. No, no. I didn't take a hit. Oh, okay. Man, why don't you brag nice. about it? Okay. That must be nice. So, so mass healing word on all y'all. Okay. So what's that do? It is one D4 plus four healing. Better be a four. Ouchies. So that is you, you seven points of healing. Huh? You don't roll. I don't roll? No. No. She's no, doing the I healing. Do. Oh, so I'm casting okay. the spell. Seven points of healing. Okay. So as you're all doing this, Corvin, you kind of reeling from the two psychic blasts you've taken, and Bashar, as she mutters a small prayer in a language you don't understand, must you be start, Spanish. You start to feel a little better. You do hear what sounds like three voices. About 40 feet away. Near the light. And what you do pick up, again, with your passive perception. Stupid high. Hey. Hey. This is not what we agreed on, Merrix. I don't give a damn what we agreed on. This is what the plan is. You left me in the dark for four years, and then you pull me out of Thrain. Grandfather, you were dead, and now you're alive. Now you bring this with you. Oh. Oh, Merrix, don't be so proud and boastful. This is what needed to be done. And in case you haven't noticed, we have company. Grab what you need, and we'll be on our way. Corbin is going to kind of lean forward um, with his sword, uh, uh, with the tip of his sword kind of just uh, uh, sitting there on the ground. He's going to hold on to it, kind of lean forward here a little bit. He'll probably, probably will help prop himself up, even out with the healing word. Okay. And he's going to look up at everyone else and say, You're still not alone. Of course you're not. Trim is also going to look at you like, Oh. Corbin, you look like your nose is a little out of place. She's gonna grab it <laughs> and pop it back, and also do healing hands to heal you five health points. Mm. Which is gracias. <laughs> so her hand, her hand lights up. She goes, "Oh, I'm gonna take care of that." Oop! I'm gonna squeeze right by you. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, I'm really glad I cast the aid on, especially you. Yeah, no kidding. You're, uh, you're I'm at a, I'm at a eleven. Yeah. yeah. So wait, wait. So your verbiage of, uh, of for your uh, verbal component is like oh. Let me pop oh, your oh, joke oh, back. Oh, yeah. Oh. Corbin's. <laughs> so yeah, five five hit five hit points there, buddy. Thanks. Uh, listen, there's no time. As we're doing discussion, blood. Merrick's is here. What? He's here. That that way, and he points her towards the light. 
And Mal will say, why, he's harder to kill than an alligator that's got no teeth. Uh, that's what she uh, said. That's what she said. Mal, you make no sense in all the sense. Let's let's just go. And he's gonna grab his sword, and as he's kind of just like dragging it here, like little, 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 little on the ground here behind him, he's gonna start trying to make uh, his way here towards uh, up here towards the light. Yep. Okay, we'll follow him. Question. Too. Definitely. Since, uh, since probably the beginning? Like over a minute. I mean, if it, no. Has just it been at least ten minutes? No. From what? The beginning of the round? I cast Detect Magic. Oh, God, yes. Uh, yeah. It, oh, that's okay. gone. Okay. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, that's yeah. gone. Just checking, because yeah. it's like I haven't cast any Alright, so you're, you're sprinting. Out, so. Yeah. I'm not sprinting, <clears throat> but you're going to use 30, so, so 30 feet, 5, yes. 10. Head here towards, the, uh, here, here towards the light, and... Um, Corbin is actually going to use one of his uh, once a day spells and he's going to actually cast a tech magic this time. Okay. Um, how much uh, steel could Al have already just shoved into his bag of holding by now? Like not not being dainty about it, just like... Just shoving? Just, just shoving. With how they've collapsed and died, right? you've, gath- you've gathered about 45 pounds of steel. Hey! I- um, so, Corvin, with Detect Magic, there is magic 20 feet in front of you. There is no school. This is pure magic. <clears throat> I'm going to relay to everyone else. Is, uh, I'm saying, it seems like there's another, another pool of this raw wild magic. Great. Directly in front of us. Roughly 20 feet-ish. Give or take. Jeremy's gonna spit blood out. Well, what are we waiting for? Jeremy now has a southern accent? <laughs> what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? Brooklyn right. What are we, what are we waiting for? And Corbin is actually going to, as he's walking up, um, you know, holding on to that, uh, holding there on the sword. He's gonna reach into his component pouch and he's gonna pull out, um, he's gonna pull out um, a sprig of mistletoe and he's okay. gonna cast Goodberry. Okay. As 10 good berries all appear in his hand. <coughs> he's gonna shove all of them in his mouth and eat them at once. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, does that heal you to max? That heals me 10 health. Oh. So one per. So what it? So Corbin is one, Corbin one is in the lead. Yep. But I need to know the marching order right now. Drima will be right behind him. <laughs> Drima is going to go right here. Mal will I'm be going right. in the back. Mal will be behind. Well, him. I mean, Al's already furthest in the back. So Mal will take the side of Corbin. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Vishar, do you want to go right next to Drima? Sure. And then Al. All right. So yeah. so two two cat, lines of three. Two cat, by two. Two by two. Two by two. two, by two. two, by two. So as you push through this light, and your eyes adjust to what was dimly lit, you do, your eyes adjust, your pupils adjust, and you do see what is technically the only one who would know this would be Corvin, a creation forge. It is an Eldritch machine. And as as you guys adjust, all of you see what looks like one Psy Forged, two Psy Forged, three Psy Forged, four Psy Forged. Coming wait, wait, wait. Five Psy Forged? Four, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Four Psy Forged coming out of this creation machine. What does it look like? This is a very... It is a forge... But it is what looks like a. Is it square? Is it circular? It's not or is square. It it's not polygonal. Circular. It is a tower-based forge, but in the center of this forge is what looks like a cutout mm-hmm. of what should be a humanoid. So this is where the okay. Psy Forge are coming out. Okay. 
in the very center of this, where the side forge are coming out, is that blue magical energy that you guys had witnessed a, f a 50 feet back, where mm -hmm. you saw that pool of... You deduced that that... Raw magic is what's... Raw magic is what's feeding this creation forge, that Merrick's had found a vein of pure magical essence of Corvair, of Eberron, and is using it to fuel this creation forge. And as these Psy Forge are coming out, you see a dwarven male with red hair, but also white streaks and a scar. Uh, everyone except Corbin would know this as Malrig. Would Corbin recognize him based off the description that everyone else would give it to her? Because Vashar did tell him. Make an investigation check at advantage, because Vashar did tell you. Okay, perception. Uh, perception, sorry. Perception. Tell me with your passive perception, you would, n yeah. For shits and giggles. For shits and giggles. Okay, so for shits and giggles, uh, for shits and giggles, um, how's about a 28? <laughs> this is Malrig. This is what Vishar had explained to you. You see Mallory, you see... Big dick tongue. You, you see, because what started this whole journey for you and your brother, Kavir, you see Maris to Kenneth, and you see another human male, older, oh, right around late 50s, so 58, 59, very close to his 60s, gray hair, about six feet tall, so a little taller than Merrick's. You don't know who this is, but for Vishara and Drinma and Al and Kat. And Mal. And Mal. This is Starn to Kenneth. So Vishara's gonna open up my link and tell uh, Corbin that this is not a good time to have such low health. <laughs> For me. Yeah, or is this the most perfect Cat, time? That's your target. This is Star Decanon. The Gorgon of the Decanon family. Well, hell. And as you all adjust to this bright light, you see the dwarven male watch as these size fours come out and turn around. Oh, good. It's about time you showed up. Merrick's, your defenses are shit. Shall we deal with our loose end? And Merrick's turns around and looks at all of you. I'm sorry. And pulls out a rifle. And aims it at uh, Vishara. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Oh, God damn it! Shit. Question. Yes. Question. So it's Starin. Starin. Malrig. Mm hmm. Merrick. Merrick. No safeguard. No, no. Safeguard is not there. Okay. Fuck. So thank you all for listening. And as you see, cameras, so thank you all for watching. Woo like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Also, email Chris. We don't have time, but still email him. <laughs> what is time but a human construct? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we love you. Thank you to Dice Envy for your lovely sponsorship. You the camera. Thank you to Dice Envy. <laughs> Again, he and loves your, staring out in the abyss. Yes, uh, I, I stare at that one. Thank you to Dice Envy and your lovely sponsorship, or, or as my wife has all your dice. Um, we will see you all Click in. Black, mad rocks. We will see you all in two weeks. We are not recording next week. It is. <gasps> Peter's Peter birthday, birthday next week! Birthday boy! He's the birthday boy, so we are not playing D&D. &D. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up! Yeah, we are not playing D&D &D next week. We are just going to hang out, enjoy Pete's birthday. Uh, so we will see you all in two weeks. I feel bad that that's the cliffhanger I have to leave you guys on for two weeks. Yeah, but he's aiming a fucking gun at me. Yes. That will be the end of this episode. We love you. And as always, is it Wednesday, my dudes? Uh... <laughs>
Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Ew, it's so gross watching you do that. <laughs> <laughs>